Janelle. Ooh. Okay. What style and subject must both of you tattoo? Full color, realistic Boston Terrier portrait with American traditional roses. <laughs> what can I say? I miss my dog. Full color. Today, we have a very special guest judge. He's an NFL All-Pro linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens, Terrell Suggs. I have a great appreciation for body art. Well, that brings us to this week's elimination tattoo, cover-ups. In order to do a cover-up that's good enough to not be seen, you have to figure out what colors to use instead of just putting a big black spot. A cover-up is one of the most difficult tattoos. Not only do you have to create a design that your client will be happy with, but you have to do it on top of one that they're definitely not happy with. What you want to get? You got an idea? Yeah, friendly pit bull. Mike? I'm no stranger to pit bull tattoos. That's, that's know, great. I feel like I got the short end of the stick black dog, something like that. Yeah, yeah. This test is about ingenuity, and there's not much ingenuity in slapping a black dog on top of a black tattoo. It's going to be rough this week. It's going to be a long day. I don't want to approach this tattoo using a lot of black. I want to get some opaque grays in there. I want to use some kind of texture. I'm going to be down to the wire, I think. I'm sure these other guys are underestimating me. It's my size right off the bat. It's something I've dealt with all my life, but that's what keeps me going. Sooner or later, they're gonna respect me for what I do. Uh, you doing the white down? Yeah, right, right down this nose a little bit. The cover up, it's not covering. My last option is black. You know, that's one of the only places I can put a light color, you know what I mean? Because the cover up is all like right in the middle. I've been backtracking a little bit, second guessing myself, so I'm kind of running out of time. I gotta go with the black and I gotta get this tattoo covered. This week you were asked to tattoo a cover up. We're testing your ingenuity. Mike. I think I covered it pretty well. My client's first option was to do his dog, which was pure white. We all know that wouldn't happen. It's definitely one of those tattoos that's just got cover-up written all over it. My first intention with the piece was to do some more hair texture, but I decided to abandon that, block in some solid color, and get that cover-up done. If you pulled an American Pitbull reference and you saw that this part was lighter, you would have been able to shade in like some gray, even opaque, and kind of break up the darkness. And I think that's a big design flaw in your tattoo. If we're going on the other side of things, Mike did such a huge black image that there wasn't a whole lot of ingenuity at play there. The shading is just deliberately right around the cover up. I think he gave the client exactly what it wanted. If that's the case, then it shouldn't have been so dark. This is definitely one of the bottoms for today. Lalo, Mike, Trey. None of you impressed us today. Mike, you did a big, huge black tattoo. Not exactly what we're looking for. We're not looking for the big, obvious black cover-up. I think I made the right choice by pounding in the black because my first approach was to load it up with texture, but I don't think my client's skin could handle it. I'd rather be up here from pounding in solid black than have a screen full of chopped meat up there. It's one of the weakest. Out of all of the bottom three here, the only person that still had a tattoo showing through a little bit was Trey. I mean, we are here to cover up tattoos. Any one of you could justifiably be sent home. The judges have decided. Mike, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This week, we're testing Dimension. Oh, man. Creating Dimension is to make your tattoo look like it's actually popping off the skin. It's the difference between a basic tattoo and an amazing tattoo. Today, you must tattoo an animal. Oh, yes. I've been waiting for this challenge. This is the imagery that I love. This is the imagery that I do. I know I'm gonna kill it. For an animal to come to life and pop off the skin, faces, noses, eyes, and mouths must have depth and dimension. It's important to show dimension in animal tattoos because you wanna make that tattoo look like it's alive. You wanna make it look like it's gonna reach out and touch you. 
Today, once again, every canvas wants the same subject matter as one other canvas. That means you'll all be going head to head with one other artist. One of you will win, but one of you will lose. I'm gonna get a portrait of my grandmother's horse. A chestnut color Mustang. A horse. Ryan. Angel. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, fired. Me and Ryan, we're in the same place in this competition. I gotta take him out. It's just knocking one down at a time. Very dark. Apparently, my canvas has a photo reference. I didn't know that. All details are lost in there. The photo is just too small. The image is about the size of a quarter. Well, let's see what we can pull. All right, thank you. It makes it a lot more difficult. What the <laughs> Oh, me. This is really getting aggravating. I'm screwed. I'm really stoked to be going up against Angel right now, but I really wanted the black and gray horse. My canvas wants a brownish Mustang horse on the back of her shoulder. To try and produce the same skin tones that she has already on this horse, it's just gonna be so difficult. Just a right contrast, but the wrong size. My canvas has a photo reference, but it's only that big. I maneuvered, I tweaked. So I'm about to do that. Pulled out the line work. I love it. That's right. perfect. She's very happy with what I drew up. I have artistic skill. That's my strong point. Ryan needs to watch out for me. This is called Long Distance Mind What you think about that, boy? Really now, pussy. Today you had to use dimension to bring animals to life. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist and we will directly compare your work. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Angel, you went head to head with Ryan. It does show dimension in this nice turn of the animal. It's really majestic and strong. This strong black in the back of the head with the silhouette of the mane was a really nice touch. If you have a nice smooth black fade behind that onto the neck to create that muscle, this is definitely a better tattoo for you. Thank you. Brian. Difficult to be positive on this one. It just sits really flat. It's not very good color saturation. The line work is wonky. The poor horse's face, what were you doing there? Did the best I could, man. If this is the best you got, I'm gonna have to wish you the best of luck. All right, let's pull the judges, see who won this head-to-head -head challenge. I would say Angel. 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 Angel, congratulations, man. Thank you. What style or subject are you picking for your six-hour grudge match tattoo? It's a really tough decision. Um... Want to have fun with it? Um, I think I'm going to go with new school. New school. New school. New school. Yep. Ooh. I just I want to have a fun competition. I don't want to do anything that's just going to be like extremely boring. That is a bunch of bullshit. I want to punch her in the head, bitch slap her. Like I don't know, all of it, all at once. Do you do a lot of new school tattoos? On the competition, I did my first one, so. Ooh, so this Have is the second one? Then? A lot of people don't come to me for that at home. It's like, you know. It's pretty far away from the style that you do. Yeah, I'm just used to it with her, so. Hey, old habits die hard. This is your time to shine, to show everybody what you're made of. Remember, ladies, whoever wins this grudge match ends it all. Good luck. Have a good night, guys. Get to Thank work. Thank you. Alexis called out new school tattoos. She's super versed in this. Ash isn't. Let's do it. Smart thinking in a competition. She does realism, but I primarily do new school. I know I've lit a fire under Ash's butt. I got the choice. I made the decision. I'm going to make her jump. I'm going to make her work for this. Thanks, Alexis. You're really proving that you're growing as a person. Looks good, dude. I mean, for you. <laughs> you're such a bitch. I don't know why I keep letting this girl get in my head. Like, I really, the second I think, like, OK, we're going to be on an even playing field. God. He's so cute. He's my dog. And I might be biased, but he really is the cutest thing in the entire world. Give me the ticket. I think this is coming out cool. I learned a lot while I was here. I taught myself everything, so when you're just by yourself, it's all you know, it's all you're learning. You taught yourself how to tattoo? Oh, really? Yeah. That must be hard. I started doing, like, guest spotting here and there because I just, like, miss to be around other artists, especially here. It was really nice. 
I mean, that's probably why it was so important for you to stay loyal to your, to your oh, team, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. My grudge goes so much further than tattooing. Alexis doesn't take me seriously and it's obvious, but there's also a lot of reasons why she should. One hour, guys, one hour. Ash is super solid right now. I think the face of the dog is super cute. The line work that Ash put in is actually really, really nice. It is. Five, four, three, two, one. Put him down. Grudge match is over. That's it. So what do you think? I'm going to win? Oh, definitely. Hello, look at mine, look at hers. Ugh. Lex, you think that I'm the one who does new school? <laughs> Alexis, I really liked your drawing. Definitely had a new school vibe to it. My favorite part are the little paws holding the cake. The saturation in those paws is awesome. The cake is adorable. I wish the frosting could have been a different color because when you look at it, you kind of have to figure out if it's frosting or if it's the inside of the mouth. Another area is the top little section panel that you have of the hat is colored in purple and it's right up next to that purple background because they're right next to each other, you lose that pop of it. I was an afterthought. Ash. I think we didn't hit all the points on her tattoo, so we should ah. just stay there. I think you laid down a super solid tattoo. I think the tattoo is adorable. I like the muted color palette. I love the little hint of green on the snout. But that drool's in the freezer, girl. You know what I mean? It was just like, you know, sled dog. Drool could have been like blah, all over, you know? You want to exaggerate him a little more. Just let go. Be silly. Be crazy. Do something wacky. Baby steps. Yeah, Stepping out of my babies. comfort zone. Hey, you're brand new to new school. She did a good job, man. Like, she always pulled it out of her ass. Can I be honest? This whole thing was not that I thought I could out tattoo you. It was that you don't take my tattooing seriously. And I can tattoo, I'm just new at it, and I just want you to take me seriously, truthfully. That's all this is about. I do take you as a serious tattooer. That's absolutely why I gave you new school, because you can handle it. I mean, ladies, there are a million different ways to play this game. It's a competition, and today you guys let your tattoos do the talking. Okay. Ultimately, we had two great tattoos, but there can only be one winner. Well, here's the debate for me. You know, when I first look at a tattoo, the first thing that you look at are the eyes. And the eyes in Alexis's tattoo, they kind of just look like strange, creepy uncle human eyes. Ash, the eyes you put in that tattoo were adorable. My vote is for you. Really? Yeah. Don't you? I think you crushed it. Thanks. Yeah. But I really liked Alexis's tattoo. I really think it lends more to that new school style. My vote's for Alexis. Thank you. All right, clean. It's one to one. Oh, Ball's in your court. Man, oh man, why has it got to be me? All right. Deciding factor. When I look at Alexis's tattoo, I love the cake. I love the paws. But I like the color play, and Ash is a lot better. Want me to start a drum roll for you? What's your vote, dude? God, the suspense is killing me. Damn it. I'm going to vote for Alexis. <sighs> Ash, you're definitely a worthy competitor. I know guys that have been tattooing twice as long as you that couldn't even do what you did. This week, we're testing technical application. All right. Technical application is being able to put a tattoo in cleanly. You could save a bad design with good technical application. If you have a bad design and put in a bad outline, it shows even more. In this competition, only the strongest survive. So today, you must prove your strength by facing off against another artist in a head-to-head -head battle. Oh, shit. What? Oh, man. OK. Lose, and you will be up for elimination. Natural laxative. One by one, you will each pick a skull. The six artists that draw pick your opponent will then choose one of the artists with a call-the-shot skull to face off against. OK. And that artist will then get to choose the style and subject that you must both tattoo. Oh my god. I know it seems like picking your opponent is going to be the biggest advantage, but the real power lies within calling the shot. You can easily cherry pick to your strengths and prey on their weaknesses, no matter who calls you out. Jason, you're up first. Pick your opponent. Alexis. OK, Alexis, call the shot. What style and subject must both of you tattoo? Black and gray, realistic, French bulldog portrait. Wow. That's very specific. I got a tattoo of dog head. How like unimaginative and uncreative is that? Obviously Alexis has taken a shot at me because there's no drawing involved in it. Fine. Please choose an opponent. Janelle. Ooh. Okay. What style and subject must both of you tattoo? Full color realistic Boston Terrier portrait with American traditional roses. <laughs> 
What can I say? I miss my dog. This is probably the quietest it's been since the competition started. People getting a lot more focused. I know this is going to be a tough battle between me and Janelle, and she's not going to give up easy. I only did one rose. I said roses. No, you didn't. Yeah, huh? I said roses. I have to win this. I'm not going to be sent to the bottom by a girl. <laughs> Cop out. <laughs> See this dog. Oh my god, he's so precious. It might be a sheep. He's got a bow tie on, so I mean, this one gonna go with Well, he has a bow tie on. This one doesn't. Oh, you nixed the bow tie? I'm not wasting time on bow ties. Every line that I pull in this tattoo is just reminding me how much my career and my livelihood is at stake. The biggest problem is the outline. It's shaky everywhere. I need to redeem myself. <sighs> We're in the home stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. All right, we're done. It's adorable. Love the way this came out. I like it. Today, you had to face off in a head-to-head -head battle. Based on your work, half of you will be up for elimination. Jason and Alexis. Alexis, you called out black and gray French bulldog portrait. At first glance, I know exactly what it is. You hit the look of the dog a lot. The area that I think you get a little bit smudgy is going to be the nose. If you look at the picture, you definitely see prominent black swirls in the nostrils. In yours, you lose those shapes. But it's a cute tattoo. I think you did a great job. Thank you. Let's have a look at Creepy Jason's tattoo. It's a great photo reference to pull. If you look at the dog in the tattoo, the eyes look crazy. But then you look at the photo, you're like, that dog has crazy eyes. The directional flow of the fur that you do in this is really great but your background where the black doesn't touch the hat, the shakiness of the outline around the hat, there's a lot of technical application here that is sloppy. All right, guys, who wins this head-to-head face-off? I mean, there's things I really like about both tattoos. The softness and the smoothness that Alexis gives in this tattoo is very nice. I wish he had his blacks. I'm having a really hard time with Jason's technical application on that whole background. Well, then join me on Team Alexis. I'm with you. My vote is for Alexis. I also will go with Alexis today. The winner of this face-off is Alexis. That means, Jason, you are up for elimination. You know this part. Fawn and Janelle. Janelle, you called out a colored Boston Terrier portrait with American traditional roses. Let's start with you. It's the best tattoo you've done here, by far. Your color in here, in the red, is really, really nice. Most of your black shading is done really well. The details in the eye are also very nice. It's very rich and very black, but just enough open skin to let it breathe enough to show. Details in the nose, very awesome. Moving on to Fawn's tattoo. You definitely have a lot of tricks in this tattoo. I love the wetness of the nose. I like also the differing contrast between the stripe and the fur, the muzzle. It sets apart with that little kind of grayish area that you put here. You create that little shadow of depth. It really creates a lot of realism in the piece. It captures that portrait look. Really great work from both of you guys. We have to determine a winner of this face off. Fawn pulls off a nice painterly portrait, and Janelle pulls off a really slick illustrative tattoo. Her nose is great. There's more happening in Fawn's tattoo, but I'm leaning towards Janelle just because I like it better. But as far as hitting a portrait, there's a clear portrait here. I'm going to go with Fawn. I'm going to go with Fawn. The winner of the face-off is Fawn. That means, Janelle, you are also up for elimination. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a portrait of a senior citizen. And your time starts now. Oops, do it. Do it. Okay, come on. So excited. Can lay down and get comfy. This is a very tricky challenge because there's a lot of detail in these photos. But if you put every single little wrinkle line in these tattoos, it's going to be scary. It's not going to look right. Oh, they're perfect. First try. Awesome. You have to know where to be precise. You have to know what details to highlight what details to let be subtle. I think that's the ticket. Because you don't want to make them look older than they are. You don't want to make them look younger than they are. These are hard portraits to do. Ready to rock? Yes. Ready. It's going to be a pretty gentle 
painful process, so uh, don't tap out on me. You are light-handed. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I might be driving to Oklahoma to for my next tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> My tattoo is a portrait of my canvas's great-grandmother. She's got a full head of black hair, so making this look not like a solid mass of black sludge is a really delicate balance. Oh, sweet. Yep, having fun. Cool. I knew that at some point, Jarell would start playing this game for himself. This is a bomb, and I'm not gonna let that land. Because of the fact that I got to pick the best one, I really have to execute it. Because if I drop the ball and somebody that got a grenade does not, it's embarrassing. What were you doing with this handing out them skulls today, dude? Competing, man. I know, but who are you competing against? Everybody. I thought you and Frank were friends. We are. Can't tell. <laughs> Can't tell today. <laughs> it's at that point in the competition where, yeah, we're on teams, but we have to look out for ourselves. He looks just like him. Yeah? You can see him? That's good. The only real critique that I need. See, look what you did. <laughs> I'm focusing on giving my canvas a tattoo that will honor that love that she has for her grandfather. I can make today more about that relationship than about whether or not Jarrell stabbed us all in the back. Mm -hmm. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Mm -hmm. You're doing super well, don't quit now. Oh, I'm not quitting, don't you worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna quit, I am not a quitter. Good. Three more hours. I am a realism artist, but I actually don't like doing portraits very much because I don't want to risk messing up somebody's loved one's face. The more I get into it, the cooler she looks. Yeah. Sweet. This is my first tattoo after being pardoned, and this has got to be the day where I shine. Does it look like 100 grand? Yeah, <laughs> trying to make it look like 100 grand. <laughs> I'm not a portrait artist. I've only done maybe five portraits in my life, so I'm just winging it. How's it looking? Everybody's doing good. That's good. To be honest, I'm worried about, about me. Really? Shut the up. I'm going to have to finish before I won. I can't believe that I'm having a skin issues right now. Everything is red and everything is dark. How's the things? Well, once in a while it hits a spot. Hopefully it'll lose the redness at some point. I'm going to be able to see and add little details here and there. But for now, I'm working blindly. Don't move for a second. Uh -huh. let, the, let your 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 skin breathe. I've been calling for this day from the beginning of this competition. This was my day to kill it, hit the table, and put everybody on notice. You're about running out of time. I can't take much more of it. I can believe that my life is in danger right now. This is your final hour. One hour remaining. <sighs> Everyone's been saying I'm a one-trick pony, and I wanted to prove everybody wrong. Oh, my god. I feel like Jarrell's taken that away from me by giving me the hardest one in the room. I'll give you a minute, OK? OK. This chick will not sit still. She won't? When I get done, I'll come over there and hang out. I'm up against so many odds that I don't know if I can make it past. <sighs> Oh, Sorry. I'm just trying to do a good portrait, not just a finished portrait. I appreciate know? it. I'm going as easy as I possibly can on her, but I don't know if she's going to sit through this thing. You have 30 minutes, OK? Oh. Just please let me finish it. Word, dude. Jimmy's canvas is all over the place. The best thing I can do to make sure that he can finish his tattoo is just talk to her. There's still strength in numbers. You got a portrait of? Oh, my granddad. Your granddad? He's a World War II vet. Oh, yeah? You're earning this one, you're almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. We finished. <laughs> I feel like I just gave birth. I feel like I just gave birth. <laughs> wow. I love it. Cool. It looks beautiful, man. Dude, I love it. It's amazing. It looks exactly like her. What's up, dude? You killed that shit. Thanks, man. How did your team react to that? My team? Yeah. They're salty. Really? Yeah. Did you, did you tell them what's up, or did you? No. They're going to be pretty pissed off. I can tell.
Kuzma's tattoo turned out exactly like we thought it would. It's busted. His face looks like it's melting down his neck. It's not fixable. That portrait will never look right. Today, you must create a portrait tattoo. Remember, we're testing precision. If your tattoo doesn't look like the picture, you'll be packing. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Let's do this, man. I'm not gonna lie, dude, I was looking at like your art and it was kind of making me a little nervous because it's a portrait and I didn't really see any of those from you. So it was like, I was like, oh my God. I'm definitely, I'm putting a lot of faith in you. That woman's a saint in my eyes, she always will be. You know, you gotta have confidence in your artist because okay. that negative projection sometimes works against you. My canvas is putting an immense amount of pressure on me. Her face looks a little bit fatter. We squish it down so it looks fatter. Mm -hmm. When we put it on your leg and it curves around your leg, it's gonna look skinnier. You see how it skinny's out? I'm convinced that the curve of the canvas is gonna elongate the portrait. By squishing it down a little bit, it's gonna compensate for that. I need you behind me on this, man. Trust me, I, <laughs> I need to be behind you on good, this. Good, good, good. <laughs> Everybody's wondering if I can pull this portrait off. It's pretty intimidating. This is the worst picture to work from. Because of the contrast and no, the, the blur, yeah, the graininess, look at it. The photo, blurry as hell, but I got enough of the gist to actually follow the blur to make it sharp. And it's because I am a portrait artist. I have to find the clean parts of that in my head. You have to be able to pull off bad pictures sometimes. Pulling that off will be a guaranteed win. I start coloring in the hair, and I'm realizing that squishing the photo was a bad idea. How are you feeling about it? As long as she don't look like she just got out of Taco Bell, I'm golden. I gave this guy a fat grandma. That's the one fear that my canvas had. We still talk about her like she's in the next room. That's how much she meant to the family. I'm trying to project confidence in this scenario even though I'm super freaking out on the inside. To make her look a little thinner, I kick a little more shadow on the jawbone. And I also bring the hair in a little bit on the right side. But even after all that, it still looks chubby. You're like, I'm covering the face. I don't want anyone to see it. Jesse squeezed the image. I'm not sure where that was a good idea. I'm looking around at all the tattoos and I'm realizing that mine's the worst. When it comes to elimination, whoever I'm in the bottom with, I'm hoping the judges will see more potential in me moving forward than them. Mr. Jesse Smith. How are you feeling about this? I feel like I dropped the ball. We're judging precision. I gotta say, I don't feel like any of the details in this tattoo are precise. The hair could be a little more realistic. Hair is a tough thing to do. It's one of the hardest things in a portrait. It could have been more detailed. It looks a little too just not real enough. You look at this photo, you see strands. The way you tattooed this hair is more like a weird fur slash tribal pattern. Not to mention just the entire perimeter of the face does not look the same. You totally it up. I mean, I don't have too many legs to stand on here. My portrait obviously sucks. And if we're looking for precision and detail, this is Sebastian's strong suit. So if there's one thing he shouldn't drop the ball on, it should be this. If I dropped the ball in new school when I was in the bottom two in new school, I would have sent myself home. Would like to say Jesse's a dickhead for throwing me under the bus. They didn't execute precision. Jesse made his face fatter. That's up precision, I'm trying to make a face fat. What's that, Sebastian? Talking about executing precision. Like, he made a face fatter. You don't ever change the actual face. Literally, change it. We're seeing a new side of you today. But hear him throw me under the bus like that is not a happy <laughs> moment for me. Make a case for yourself. Don't make a case off of me. But that's what you do, man. You should have nailed it. That's all I got to say. The judges have decided. Jesse, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Get the f out of here. To do a portrait, your accuracy has to be 100% on point. One little difference in any part of a face, and your portrait looks completely off. There's no way around it. Even if the tattoo is perfect, perfection, yeah. they're going to be like, why did you cut this piece out for not that? You feel me? Yeah. I'm stunned. I kind of figured. And you just, you're ready to just tackle this thing? Yeah. Jimmy's doing a tattoo of one of his judges. That's got to be pretty intimidating. There are a lot of moles back here. I know. My question is, if it's not the back, what do you suggest? Do you got things on your legs at all? No. I would probably suggest legs, I guess. 
My canvas wants a tattoo on her back, but it is Molly back there. I need to tattoo her somewhere else. Who won the flash challenge, Jimmy? Yes. I guess he screwed you, huh? If she's gonna stick to her guns, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll end up with the portrait of her mother on my leg. Wow. What do you think? I love it. Oh my God. What do you think? I wish I looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to prove that I can do other things. It's gonna be a big feat in itself today if I can make it past this point as one of the new school kids. So do you do much like realism portraits? I would say almost absolutely not at all. Somehow, I wiped his entire right eye off of my stencil. A pattern is going away, especially in the areas where I don't need it to go away. If you lose part of your stencil, 99.999% of the time, you're You do not want to try to freehand something on a face. Just do him one eye. As if it wasn't bad enough, this guy's sitting there watching me up. I need to fix this. You know, like over his shoulder watching. We decide we're gonna tattoo her on her calf. She's not a big girl, and it's a lot of detail in this small spot. Every wrinkle, every strand of hair, every eyelash is going into this tattoo. I can't believe the work that goes into this. I have to at least try to take this home for my family. I can't keep being the bottom of the barrel. You make sure you tell him if he's doing something wrong. Kyle's looks like a ball of raisins kind of like smashed together. Is that horrible for me to say? He should be trying to soften her face and just show the main shapes of her face rather than every single wrinkle. Today, you had to tattoo a subject intimidating for even the best tattoo artists. A portrait. Jason, you're up first. Was it nerve wracking to have the subject of your portrait sitting in the room with you as you were? It's a little threatening, because yeah. you're standing right there. Yeah. This is testing every one of my panic disorder buttons. Overall, man, you did do some neat tricks to get some detail in there. The mustache and the beard, the detail is very nice. The mouth, you captured the little smirk. There's a couple spots you lost me on accuracy. Just the shape of his hair, the way it goes onto his shoulder, it doesn't have the same shape. But accuracy in the glasses, that's the big fudge on this thing. It looks like you kept trying to sculpt it and sculpt it, and then you ended up changing the shape of the glasses. Try to put white in there, and then I noticed that it was thickening up. This was the tattoo that needed the most accuracy because there were so many different textures. If you can't nail each texture, then it shows up a lot. It just threw it off. Kyle. But you accurately captured a lot of parts about this lady. If you look at the shading on their nose, it actually has dimension. You actually put the contour in there. But then you went in here and put too much time in every wrinkle. You accentuated the parts of the photo that you kind of don't want to accentuate. I don't know if I was the first one to say it, but I definitely wasn't the only one to say Leatherface when I looked at this tattoo. It's not a flattering look. I had to show accuracy. I think your accuracy is one of the stronger points on it. You nailed it, dude. It's a lot more accurate not to pinpoint Jason than his glasses. You, you had a tough one, but I think you did a great job on it personally. Jimmy. Your weak point is you didn't go dark enough. And the hair and the eyes, the beard goes to the jawline. You kind of created some highlights in there that made it look lighter. One of my biggest fears was to make the tattoo so dark that it looked like a cover-up. I mean, we see Dave all the time, and his hair's jet black. His eyes are super dark and smoky. And you took some liberties with your accuracy. It kind of takes away from what it could have really been. That's what I first thought, because I was like, that's right. You should have trusted Easier. it. You ended up doing way more work than you had to. No better way to test accuracy than with portraits. We got to send one of these guys home. Let's start off with Jimmy. He has done smoother black and gray than his portrait. He just overthought it. Yeah. There's a couple things that Jimmy did on there that changed the look of it, mainly that lower jaw. He highlighted a lot of areas that are clearly dark in the photo. Next up, we have Kyle. Trying to replicate every little nook and cranny, it's a lot to put in there. She has areas where she is not as wrinkled in this photo, like the circles of her cheeks. I know it doesn't aesthetically look pleasing, but it's more accurate than the one that Jimmy did of you. Yeah. And it's more accurate than the one that Jason did. But out of Jimmy, Jason, and Kyle, Jason did the most aesthetically pleasing of the three. There was mistakes. The whole shape of the glasses is off. The ear is darker than the whole face, and it's not in the photo. Today, we tested your accuracy by asking you to tattoo a portrait that matches a photo, down to the last drop of ink. Jimmy, Jason, Kyle, the three of you were slightly off, and any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Kyle, you're here because the human canvas jury voted that you had the worst tattoo of the day. 
I didn't really expect that. That's the people you're trying to please first, so that sucks. This tattoo is way too little for all that texture. You don't have enough room to let the tattoo breathe, and that's what made it look so dark. There's a lot of that that's gonna come out. Those creases, they weren't done with solid black at all. Jason. You didn't do a horrible tattoo, but when we line it up against everybody else's and look at the accuracy of all these things, the ear, the hair, the glasses, it's those details that are wrong. I saw my shortcomings on that tattoo, and I know that this is not the best of me. Jimmy. Jimmy, you won black and gray day, but because this challenge was named portrait, it hindered your black and gray. There was a lot of inaccuracies in your portrait. You should have stuck with your gut. The judges have decided. Jason, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You have six hours to tattoo an X-Men color portrait, and your time starts now. Hey, let's do this. When looking at a color portrait, you're looking for it to be an exact replica of the photo. Therefore, everything has to be precise. The eyes have to line up, the shading on the nose has to be just right. You have to capture every little essence of the face. So I'm feeling really good about my tattoo. It's coming out exactly the way I want it to. Very nice, very nice. It's looking really good. The nose, lips, eyes, cheekbones look exactly like the reference. I love it. My canvas wanted to get the knives in, but I'm very concerned about time. I'm very upset that I can't get them in. If I don't finish this tattoo, I'm screwed. Because Warpath always has knives, as soon as you take his knives out, it's no longer Warpath. It could just be anybody. This is a huge mistake. I just hope it looks good. You think it's gonna look good? I think it'll look cool. Okay. Today, we ask you to use technical precision to create an X-Men color portrait. Lydia. What happened here with the negative space underneath this gentleman? He initially had the knives, but I didn't have enough time. So I just figured I'd put a big X down there. What makes this character recognizably X-Men are those blades. Missing those, it's very difficult for me to know who this is. The problems with just the structure of the portrait, the shape on one side of the nose, the crease you put in and the dark shadow, they don't line up. In the photo, his lips are straight. In your tattoo, they look crooked. That's a big mark to miss. Rolling. When you're doing a portrait, you got to copy the structure of the face. She does not even have the same shape. The color fades are not there. Color, as you know, is not my forte. I don't find any redeeming qualities in this tattoo at all. All right, today, technical precision, yep. color portraits of X-Men characters. Let's talk about the bottom of the day. Lydia did Warpath. This technical precision that she's lacking shows in just looking at the shape of the lips and looking at the shadow along the side of the face and the look of the hair. It will take a lot of work to fix this face up. And roll it. This tattoo didn't keep the shape of the face. He didn't put the shadows on the tattoo in the same place the shadows in the portrait. This is the antithesis of technical precision. Today, you tattooed the best test of precision that there is, a color portrait. Roland, you're here because Scott put you up for elimination. Scott, why did you put Roland up for elimination? I felt that his piece was one of the weakest. This one, that was it for him, in my opinion. I will admit this is a very difficult tattoo that's been out of my repertoire, but I'm here to fight. I'm here to stay here. Lydia, you're here because the human canvases determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. As far as my tattoo being worse than Roland, I don't agree with that. I believe I'm a better tattoo artist than him. When the human canvas jury calls you down, that for you is a major nail in the coffin. That's your client base. It was a tough tattoo to get through, and I overthought it. Roland and Lydia, either one of you could be packing your machines. The judges have decided. Roland, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. OK, artists, you have six hours to tattoo a portrait. Only five of you remain, and four of you will move on. And your time starts now. All right. Let's do it. Get on it. You just stand straight up and just relax. With portraits, precision's essential because this is where everything has to be dead on. Every single drop of ink that you apply to that portrait is gonna be a reflection of the face in the picture, and it can't be off. 
If you change a feature on a face, you're out. When I do a tattoo, I'm like, do this tattoo like you would be okay with walking around with it. My canvas originally wanted his wife's portrait on his arm, and I talked him into moving it on his thigh. This is much better placement, but this tattoo has a lot of things going against me right now. The hair could totally make or break this tattoo. I need to make sure the hair is flowing, but not super crazy. And on top of everything, it is so stressful having this woman watch me tattoo her face. This is a ton of pressure right now. That's what stoked me out on it, man, is all the little crazy metals and stuff, you know what I mean? Give me a chance to get fancy. I purposely picked this photo because you can't really see the face. My strategy is to make this jacket and this helmet look so on point that it's undeniably a good tattoo, and they can only pick apart the face so much because the face isn't even there. Holy crap, that's sick. All the little detail on the metals, it's like, holy Christ. Cruzman's tattoo turned out exactly like we thought it would. It's busted. His face looks like it's melting down his neck. It's not fixable. That portrait will never look right. Cruzman, pack your bags. Today, you had to give canvases and their loved ones a way to stay together even when military service keeps them apart by tattooing a portrait. Cruzman, let's start with you. Speaking about precision specifically, there are really great examples of that in the uniform itself. I love what you did with the name tag and the little elements on the jacket, the fine details. That's why I picked this one. There was least amount of face to do, and I am not a portrait tattooer, so I figured that that was my only hope of holding on. It looks like some of the shading in the face got away from you, especially that line in the nose. The shading you put in the nose takes the nose in the wrong direction. His chin going into his neck, you needed to up the definition of that a little bit to show which one of these crease lines is his actual face and which one is the neck. You see what you did inside the jacket with the tie and that reflection of the shirt? You were confident because it wasn't a face. I totally was. If you're not confident in a face, don't treat it like a face. Just treat it as shapes and go in with the same confidence that you go in in the jacket area because you can do it. There are examples of the precision that's necessary to hit those things. Duffy. One thing I will say about your portrait is you do have smooth, good areas of gray, but the really heavy cheeks that you gave her, those really weren't as pronounced in the photo. You changed their face completely by sagging her out. And because you didn't shade the two back teeth on the right, as dark as it is in the photo, you give her buff teeth. See, the problem with your hair is where it meets the head. It looks like she's bald and she's wearing a wig and the wig is slipping off to the back. You put a real crease between her bridge of her nose up to her eyebrow. It totally recontoured the lay of the land. You don't capture the spirit. Today we're testing precision with portrait tattoos. Bruceman definitely has a lot of problems in his tattoo. The dark shading he put in the face in the wrong spots. Looks like something bad happened to him. He's got a broken nose for sure. The ridge of the nose is a right turn and that's really taking this tattoo out. Duffy's, I don't think it looks like this woman at all. If you look at her photo, she's an attractive woman, but the tattoo, it is scary. Duffy really loses it because she gives this woman melting cheeks, incredibly pushed out teeth. She has some really nice shading in this. Her shading is nicer than Cruzman's, but unfortunately it's not right. Today you had to tattoo the ultimate test of precision, a portrait. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Oh, man. Wow. Duffy, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. That's the last thing I wanted to do, was disappoint you, especially under the circumstances. Frank and Gladys, why did the jury vote Duffy to the bottom? My wife looks a little different. My face looks bigger than what it is. My teeth are a little bit closer together. And the hairline looks receded on one side. I just look different. Every single mistake counted on this one. I over-exaggerated some things I thought would be really good definition. I apologize. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right, kiddo. It's just not the tattoo you want to disappoint on for sure. When I look at Cruzman's first glance, it looks like the photo, but when I pay attention to the face, it's up. One line of shading on your nose 
this tattoo because you don't cap the ridge to create that hot spot on the bulb of the nose. Without that, you completely change the dynamic of the face. If it at least just had one perimeter outline around this guy's facial shape, it would not look like he's wearing a wet paper bag for skin. A few little lines could have kept you out of the bottom. Well, we have the last master and apprentice duo standing here before us. One can move on and one has to go home. And we have to decide that. If they're equal, flows for the master. He gave her the gift of tattooing. And when it's handed over properly, look where good tattooing ethics gets the apprentice to the end. I'll say that the reason why Cruzman's is more appealing is not the portrait part of the tattoo, it's the uniform, the framework that lent itself to look more like that photo. But when you go down to face versus face, I think Duffy's face looks more human. The judges have decided. Duffy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Okay, artists, you will have six hours to tattoo matching portraits. Your time starts now. All right. Yes. Good. When you go get a portrait, you don't want it to almost look like the person, almost don't count. I think I should go a little bit smaller than this and a little bit bigger than that. It's very important that they stay precise to the photo as well as to each other. This is tough. You don't know if your partner's gonna go off on a tangent and do something crazy. Are you super ready? Let's do this, April. you check what I'm doing to make sure that we're on the same page? Yeah. I am at Eva's mercy on this one. I'm definitely not the best portrait tattooer. So this is the gap where it's like, where this is. Yeah, there's one lower and one higher. Mm -hmm. so and they kind is... of wrap around. Yep, you got it. Mm -hmm. Like that? Yeah, that looks nice to me. I know that she knows what she's doing, so I'm just gonna try to do the same. It's a trust game at this point. What do you got for in this section? Is that a one and then this is a? A skin tone, or is that? Most likely, I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, OK. I'm a little worried about Tom, because it has been so long since he's done a portrait. I'm going to say that's a skin tone. Yeah, that's a skin tone. Or I'm sorry, that's a one. I just hope that he can rely on my strengths to help guide him through it, because you can't wander on a portrait. You have to do exactly what's in front of you. Today, you had to tattoo the ultimate test of precision, matching portraits, allegory arts. You very clearly missed a mark on details in the photo. Y'all had the same approach for this nose, but that is not a human nose. It has a very feline look to it. Euless, the tattoo doesn't look like this little girl. The eyes, they're just different shapes. Well, Eva, I think you did get in there with a lot more precise detail on the hair. And overall, the technique and the shading is smoother, but you still distort the shape of her face. The shading you put above her left eye, you create these indentions and protrusions that just aren't there. Nailed it. The coffin, yeah. Classic trilogy tattoo. Let's keep it 100. Your tattoos, they're different, big time. The hair looks different, the eyes look different, the noses, the mouths. Tom's eyes are doing different things. One's looking up, one's bugging out. You create this real stern lip on that right eye that gives it more of a creature type feature on the outside. Swing and a miss. Artistic skin design. Usually you look at a portrait and you're drawn to the eyes. I'm drawn to the clothing. On both of them, that sweater and that shirt, I see precision all day. But it just looks like a different artist did the top half. In both of them, the hair is completely different. Dane, you brought the left side down a little further. In April, you brought the right side up a little. They're not consistent or precise with the photo and certainly not with each other. All right, guys, today we're testing precision. Who do you guys think are on the chopping block to go home? Neither of these tattoos look like each other, nor do they look like the child. How do the eyes that occurred on Eva's face, how does that even occur? And then artistics, these things. Wow. They must have wasted four and a half hours on that little sweater and collar and about an hour and a half on the face. But I'd rather have classic in the bottom. I don't think either one of them capture a portrait style tattoo or this face. Today, you had to prove that your precision is on point. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. All right, jury appears. 
Why did you vote allegory arts to the bottom? This was the cutest, most adorable subject. And that's not what the tattoos look like. Guys, there's a lot of things here that are off. The discrepancy in the eyes, the whys in the nose, just a huge head shaker. But they look closer to the same artist than Classic Trilogies does. But I put a face that was more accurate to the photo. Yeah, I think that you look at classic trilogies, neither one of them look like the photo, and neither one of them look like each other. If they both looked exactly like yours, Derek, I would have no problem. I definitely dropped the ball. This application is just messy. Just look at the hair, and you're like, what is that? But it is a woman, artistic skin design. If you're not looking at the kid, they look like little old men. Both these tattoos have a very undone feel for me. Normally when I do portraits, I build up layers, and there is no building up layers. Well, I think you just panic. It started getting red, and you're like, damn, I don't want to put no more ink. But sometimes you just got to trust your skill. If you would have tattooed the rest of the portrait at the level you tattooed the clothing, you wouldn't have been there, you know? But we do have to make a decision here. Too much of a mess. Classic trilogy. I'm just a canvas, and allegory looks like a weird kid. My vote is for allegory. I'd rather wear Derek's tattoo than any of allegories. But it's a competition, and it's not what I want. It's what the competition wants, so they did them exactly alike. They did them different. I guess I would have to say classic. The judges have decided classic trilogy tattoo. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. You guys tattoo a little different, and I think that's what got you here. Learn from this. Hell yeah. Please pack your machines and move out. We're doing full size. These details are going to be like as close as I can. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like a pinup. I was yeah. thinking about maybe like doing like a little flower in front of it. Yeah. You know, so you have like a little illustration, and then like you have her, so it makes sense, like the transition. But that's like flower on my wrist. I don't give a shit about flowers at all. Maybe I could put a ribbon under it. But I don't know if I like the ribbon. This canvas is giving me such a hard time. She doesn't want to work with me in any aspect of this. Could you do like a stone? I think that's going to feel like morbid, like a tombstone. I personally don't mind if it just ends. I do. Like that's like the most unartistic way to end it is unflattering. She has to meet me in the middle or I'm going home. The flower is literally just an afterthought. But I feel like it's tacky. And then tomorrow I'll be like, what the f did I do? Artists, do you have six hours to tattoo a traditional illustrative portrait? And your time begins now. All right, dude, let's do it. See if we can get this thing to work. Step on over here, my hand. This is Portrait Day with a Twist. We're asking these artists to do renderings of photographs. So the photograph and the portrait that they create have to look alike, but they have full license to use heavy lines, heavy color, deep black shading. I think we'll be able to pull it off. Let's do it. They can do it as they see fit, as long as they capture the look of the picture. I was afraid that I scared you away. I wasn't trying to be mean. I hope you didn't think I was. No, I'm actually I, really I definitely nice. went back, and I was like, I don't think this is going to work. Since I got to go more illustrative, now I have to show a little bit more detail. And the face is too small to show all the details and make it look like this person. I got a little nervous. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Well, we felt the same, but we feel the same now, so that's better. That's it. It has teeth in the tattoo, and I don't know how to approach this without making it look like it has veneers. Ah, oh, shit. Grandma's got a mustache. Oh, my god. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? Tough crowd, tough crowd. I am shook as Jason. There's aspects of this that you do capture at least the look of the subject, but I'm not a fan of the hair. The black stripe that you put in the hair for the shading makes it look like the hair's flattened, and then he's got a big poofy back. The right side of the hair doesn't really look like hair. It looks like a shape tucked to the side. The left eye to me looks like he got punched, only that eye has this darkness to it. But adding the lure and the border, it is traditional illustrated style. I don't love this tattoo from you at all, but capturing the look, OK. Pawn. As far as capturing the look of the person with a simple drawing, you don't do it. If you look at her right eye, the top of her eye is curved, and the tattoo, it's a straight line and then curved underneath. Just the little looks of what's going on, you lose it. The shape of the mouth is off, the width of the neck. As dark as you went in the collarbone, as weird as the shoulders come out, I can be like, OK, it's stylized, gritty, it's whatever if you're looking to go that route of illustration. But what I can't not see is the precision in the face. Your eyes don't line up. The nose has a crazy curve to it. The mouth is off center. That's all the places where you need to be precise.
Women's team, you're next. Laura. It is a nice, well-applied tattoo, but it's hard for me to say that this really looks like this girl. The expression on the face, you're not really getting that little tight grin, and her neck looks really wild. The way you have the back of her shoulder and her neck going all the way up to the ear makes her neck enormous. That sucks. The other thing that I really dislike, these black lines you put on her forehead that aren't connected, that are just random black lines there. I know that you're trying to show the suggestive loose hairs, but it's very strange to play. Today we're testing precision with traditional illustrative portraits. Really assessing who did the best or the worst comes down to hitting the likeness of the subject, pawns displacement of the facial features. That's the problem. The eyes have to be on the same plane. Creepy Jason, I don't know that that necessarily looks like the gentleman in the photo either. That mustache on the tattoo is literally a comb flipped upside down. It's super plastic potato -y face. He really doesn't hit it. Another artist that took some liberties in terms of shapes is Laura, surprisingly. I just don't think it looks like the girl, really. The face looks different, the nose looks different, the mouth looks different. Not working to her favor today. Today, you're being tested on precision, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Danny, why did the women's team vote Jason to the bottom? Laura felt that she could defend herself better with Jason's. I mean, I'm sorry, Jason. Mine is the stronger out of the two, basing off of inconsistencies in the shading in the face, color packing, and then also the streaky white highlights. Yes, her application may be a little better than mine, but that's not to say that her tattoo is without its own flaws. The scratchy lines around the lips, that could have been solid. The little pieces of hair that start away from the hairline is an awkward choice. The little wispies in the hair, I mean, you can't pull that off in a traditional way by doing these little soft wispies. But you'd connect it to the hairline. There's big, thick black hairs growing out of the girl's forehead. When we look at these things that have to hit precision, you guys really got stumped. Jason, when you draw, you're at your best. And then when you have to work off something, we see where the chinks are in the armor. All the things in here that you do, which is what you do, like rope, background, allure, they have your style. They have a signature of you. What looks out of place is the figure. On your tattoo could have easily been that pinup style where you could have yesed your customer to death, but done it the way you do it. I got shooken up and I just went back in with blacks, making everything darker. The face not having the precision that we're looking for and the fact that you have some rougher shading, it's not hitting the traditional, it's not hitting the precision. I've showed you guys in the past like what I've done. I know there's no report cards, but this is all bizarre to be down here. Like I've never had any application problems or anything like that. Like I've consistently did clean tattoos. I just had one hiccup of a day and I know that's all it takes to send you home. Ultimately, one thing is for sure, these canvases wanted a rendering that looked like the photo. So that's where I'm coming from. My decision is for Pawn. Pawn. The judges have decided, Pawn. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have made it this far. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you, guys. Call. What's the first elimination tattoo? The subject matter will be the seven deadly sins. Ooh. We'll be doing this in black and gray. We will be using our shaders only. I'm feeling really good about this tattoo, and whether I have a liner or not, I will deliver. Not around, huh? No, nah, man. I'm here for a hundred grand. They should be scared. Make it. The perfect placement of the highlight in the pupil, it works incredibly. Using a shader and pulling off all these tricks, I can't wait to see you work with a liner. Thanks. This week, you are calling the shots. Oh, get, come on, let's do it. What is the next elimination tattoo? Today, we're gonna be tattooing my favorite, comic book characters. Oh, dude. The catch is, uh. You have to capture your canvas's likeness in the comic book character. Oh! What's your guy's special power? 
a combat medic with angel wings to be able to fly in and rescue other soldiers. I've never taken my client and actually put them into the tattoo, but I'm an artist, so I don't have anything to worry about. The other artists should definitely not underestimate me. This one's gonna rock. Yes. It hits on all cylinders and it does exactly what the challenge is asking for. I was bullied my whole season and now my very first canvas is an anti-bullying woman. I'm extremely thankful for being given another chance to come out and Absolutely. prove my worth because I know what kind of a competitor I am, but it's tough. You're golden. Sausage, let's start with you. What comic book character did your canvas want to be? The comic book character that helped identify with no bullying. Foreshortening in the tattoo speaks to the superhero. You give it that exaggerated hand and the punch. Overall, it's a sticker. You did a great job. Anthony. What comic book character did your canvas want to be? He really wanted to portray a military medic. I like this tattoo a lot. The drawing is awesome. There's a couple areas where I really get that comic book feel from, and a lot of that is that hatching in some of the shading. And then in terms of just details, like particularly in the scarf, going over each one of those folds in that fabric is so intensely amazing. So far, I like everything I've seen you do. You've been consistent, that's what it takes. You just run this thing to the end. I think you did a hell of a job. I won the flash challenge, now I'm gonna win the elimination tattoo. I got so much detail on this tattoo, there is not one single person crazy enough to do it like I'm doing it. Give me any style, I'm gonna rock it. Clean. This tattoo has so much detail that it looks like I could take my finger and run it across and I would feel all the bumps and I would feel all the ridges. For me, I just wanted to have a fun day. Oh, I'm not known for new school, but you can't underestimate me. You're kicking ass, taking names, or what? Trying to. We're here to get you $100,000. You're doing great, man. Today, we're doing color theory and new school. That's what I'm known for. Clean. This thing's dynamic. The balance that you have here between hot and cold, the little green that you have underneath set off with the turquoises and aqua colors, and even the white that pops off the backside of the head. All great color theory, all great color use. Sausage. The little blue outline that you put around this character, it just pops off the skin really well. In a color theory challenge, it's little details like that that really makes this thing awesome. How are you? Good, how are you? All right. This gets hard when you're in a bad mood. Like, my arm just killing me. It sucks, dude. I'm really at the end of my rope with this aggressive, competitive, weird strategy and bizarre flash challenges. If this wasn't my style of tattooing today, I'd probably already have left. How do you feel about it? Super cool. Big. Next artist up is... Please stop me. Please stop me. Please stop me. Megan Jean. Damn. What's going on? I hate being here right now. I'm completely over it. I want to go home. I am tired of living here, and I'm tired of tattooing here. I don't appreciate that attitude because we all have families at home. We all have lives at home. And I don't think that you're respectful to the people behind you or the people in front of you. If you don't want to be here, we can take out the worst tattoo of the day and send you home. Should I critique you, or are you done? You thrown in the towel? I'm not throwing the towel, I'm just crying. I figure I'm just gonna have a couple of days and then like, get over it. I was hoping that this would be the wind in your sail to move you forward, not for you to fall on your sword in front of us. It's tough. Thanks. Anthony. The subtle way that you put the timepiece into her cheek, I commend you on that. It's tasteful the way you did it. All the accents you did in the chin, very nice. The shading in this thing's great. The darkness in this thing's great. When this thing heals, it's gonna be awesome. Thank you. Welcome back, Jesse. This week, you are calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? Today, we're gonna do black and gray portraits. convinced me from the get-go. As soon as I saw your Instagram, I'm like, this dude knows how to do portraits. Clean gives me George Washington. I did not want this, but I specialize in black and gray portraits. Looks great, man. Really smooth. What's your favorite style of tattoo? This right here. Portraits. 
do it all the time. If there was a dictionary definition of a one-trick pony, it would have a picture of Jesse Smith. He might think that he went out and practiced portraits, but he just walked into a viper's den full of people who are killer at portraits. The trickiest part is just like all these little subtle wrinkles and stuff. Yeah. Gonna be pretty rad. This one. Oh. I need a little more contrast. This portrait has the least opportunity to shine because I'm working on dark skin. So the ability to create a massive amount of contrast is very difficult. It's the great thing about this show is it kind of highlights your weaknesses. But One Trick Pony has been the word that has stuck with me ever since I left season two. I came back to shut that down. Today, Jesse challenged you to tattoo a portrait of a political figure so well known that the tiniest flaw will be obvious. Jesse, let's begin with you. I really love the tattoo, and I honestly can't believe that this is the same artist that did Black and Gray that we saw in season two. I felt it necessary to prove to you guys that I could do a legitimate portrait. I completely applaud you for having the balls to come back in here and call this your shot. Great job. Christian. The actual way that you do the hair coming over that right ear, perfect. It's beautiful because her hair is really white and light over that ear. You nail it. This was a great attention to detail. You're definitely ahead of the curve when it comes to portraits. Anthony. It's evident that portraits are your thing. The softness of the shading where you can't see it start or finish is great. All in all, the interpretation on this, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the divot you have in the left side of the cheek, that tiny little highlight that you captured, it's a great job. Sausage. I love this tattoo. I love what you've done with the hair. I love the details in the tie. In this particular photo, his eyes are looking in slightly different directions, and you capture that in your tattoo. If you go down to that neck and you look at that highlight and the little white hairs that are showing off that, I didn't miss that. That thing's sick. Probably the best tattoo you've done here so far. Kristen, you're up first. Come on over. Tell us what you did here, man. This is more than just for the other, uh, all of you guys. I kind of actually specifically did this a little bit for you, Dave, because I feel like a lot of times you're a swing boat, they're more technical. Um, I wanted something that was really dark and beautiful. Um, and this is based on a classic ballet. It's about a young girl who is uh, chosen by her tribe uh, as a sacrifice, and she dances herself to death for the god of spring. Right as spring, right? Stravinsky? Yeah. Nice. Christian, I think the juxtaposition between the black and gray and the color is really nice. I also love the way that you have the silhouetted figures dancing behind to make those roses come forward. It's really great play with dark and light. I think you did great. Thank you. Let's take a look, man. What do you got there, bud? Talk to us. Tell us about your tattoo, man. Uh, she's a singer, so I really wanted to just kind of give her something that she would love, and you know, she really loves music, and. I just made it 100% Clean Rock One style. Right on. Overall, it's a beautiful sleeve. Anthony, come on down. Tell us about this, man. So going up against these guys, yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't slack. You know, I really had to be strategic, competitive. I wanted to represent where I was raised and being brought up by a single mom. The wolf actually represents my character kind of throughout the season, observing everything and planning my attacks. Wow. Chris. Anthony, I love the tattooing and I love the story that it tells. That woman's face is beautiful and the markings, the space that you have behind her head and the markings on her face really work and they're really beautiful. The hot and cold juxtaposition of the colors are great. It's actually my favorite sleeve. Wow. Japanese, talk about it. Even though I had an open canvas, I really wanted to give him something that he likes as well. He has to wear it for the rest of his life. So during the competition, Dave, you did mention you wish to see more of the dragon, the full body. So I gave you that and then some with hopes to redeem myself. All right, man, thank you. This dude is in excruciating pain. Oh my god. 
I don't even have the needle on you right now. Oh, that time will hurt, son. It's a nightmare. I cannot get any area of solid, clean tattooing on this guy, and I'm You have six hours to give your canvas a realistic landmark tattoo that shows dimension. Your time starts now. Let's do it. Let's do it. In giving tattoo baby Mount Rushmore, I don't know how she's gonna fit four heads on a mountain in six hours. Have at it, baby. I think you got a good one. My plan of action is to give him part of Mount Rushmore, a corner side where you only see two presidents and the flag behind it. So far, so good. I'm almost done with the faces. It's gonna be badass. This is pretty flat. It's all, I mean, it's all hit with like a direct light. I'm gonna use different line depths to really make this thing pop and show dimension. There's absolutely no dimension to this tattoo. Josh has spent way too much time on his actual line work when he should have really been spending more time on his shading. Don't bring negativity into my space and we'll be good. Negativity. I am super stoked to have somebody that can see after only meeting him for a few minutes that he is a big freaking jerk. Obviously, Josh was talking because he can't compete. But when it comes down to it and you have to put up, I don't think he's got it. Two more hours, everybody. I'm happy that I got the Brooklyn Bridge. I should be able to rock this. The picture itself is going to show dimension automatically. You've been to this point in the bridge right here? Like here? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, right? Yeah, you see it all the time. ES is tattoo, man. There's a lot of things wrong with it. On the wires, his lines are all straight, so he's shading them dark over it just to kind of compensate that. He's just missing the mark. Three, two, one. That's it. Time's up, machine's down. No more ink. This week, we asked you to use Dimension to tattoo a recognizable landmark. ES. The pictures, you know, a good picture to choose, like, as far as perspective and the way it fits the arm. With so much line work, there should be different sizes. Everything's equally the same thickness, and it kind of loses itself. Had you have used a thin liner and done those bridge lines lightly, it wouldn't look as similar. Everything looks the same. That's where Joey did everything so tiny and fine and then had those heavy areas. It's night and day. Two different bridges, though, if you think no, about it. At the end of the day, having to go apples to apples, yours versus his, you see the major differences. Joshua, do you think that you were given this canvas by Jason intentionally? I mean, the whole group's kind of sat down and said, oh yeah, it's now a game of giving Josh whatever we don't understand. So I've kind of slipped into that role of being the bad guy. The difference here, bro, is I want a healthy competition. I'm just trying to stir the pot. You, on the other hand, do out of malicious intent. So now you see what I've been dealing with. This is probably the best canvas for you. It was one of the most outline intensive designs. You've shown your strength in outlining throughout this competition, but where's the contrast? Where's the dark shadow? Where's the depth? You've got a lot of solid area of this light gray color. You don't have any shading. You miss the mark of the day, which is dimension. Tattoo, baby. I do like the shape of this tattoo, like the way it fits the side of the leg. I like the flag, the color works awesome, but you lose it in the faces. On one side of Lincoln's face, it would be darker, and you have white on both eyelids. That makes it unrealistic. That rich black silhouette of Lincoln's face carrying over to the other face is exactly what you need in this. It would have made the color pop, it would have made everything look so much better. You invented a half a portrait for nothing. You screwed yourself on this one. Yes, tattoo baby, Joshua. Your tattoos fell flat, and one of you will be packing your machines. The human canvas jury had a very difficult deliberation. The jury voted that tattoo baby had the worst tattoo of the day. These faces, they're just bad. There's no other word other than unacceptable for this. When I was done with it, I was actually pretty satisfied. But then coming here and getting your critique, I'm just reevaluating it and learning from it. You're not doing the things that got you voted back. Your head's elsewhere. And unfortunately, it really shows on this client. Yes, 
This was my least favorite tattoo. I just didn't like how it fades off into nothing. If I would have put some clouds back there, it would have smoothed out the whole effect. It's not even only about the background. It just wasn't thought through the way it was just gonna fade off. It just wasn't up to par. Joshua. You did such a flat piece. You overdid it with the outline, left yourself no time to put any shading in here, and today is Dimension Day. It's a bummer that someone with such a technical outline is down here in the bottom. I have a flat wall. Literally, it was an impossible task. Maybe you were just shaking your head. What were we thinking? I think you could have put Dimension into that piece. You guys do know that I am the most technically capable person on this competition, and I'm a few bad decisions away from being one of the best artists here. I disagree. You've been asking for certain things, and he hasn't given those things, and he's been here in the bottom a lot of times. Upstairs in the house, all he does is cause problems, man. You Up know? in the house, all I do is defend myself against all your attacks. We don't attack you. Everybody We're just... does. I don't bust out excuses. What kind of honor is that? The judges have decided. Yes, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It comes down to which one of these tattoos has the most weaknesses. Please pack your machines and close shop. I think the judge's decision was wrong. It's like a slap in the face. Josh should have went home. I could draw way better than that kid any day. It's whack. It's bull****. All right, you have six hours to tattoo your canvas's spine. And your time begins now. Ah. All right, let's do this. Spine tattoos require finesse for the simple fact that you have to line up the tattoo perfectly on the spine to fit the body, and they're very painful. Okay, this bottom section I'm gonna have to move because your spine's a little bit off. Today I'm looking for a straight up battle. Yeah, man, looks good. I'm looking for everybody to put up a fight and try to stay in this competition. Your job is to sit still, relax, enjoy the ride. Let's do it. Ready to rock it out. Last time I competed, the judges made the wrong decision. I shouldn't have been eliminated, and I'm here to make sure that doesn't happen again. Three, two, one. That's it, time is up. Machine's down. No more tattooing. Today, you had to show finesse by tattooing on a difficult body part, the spine. Jason, you went up against Josh. As far as the Empire State Building itself goes, when you have this close of an image of it, those lines have to be exactly parallel in order to really create that structure. And at the top of this thing, before you get to that needle, those lines are a little bit wobbly. Putting a needle through the letter was a bad idea. His name has got to be more important to him than this needle, and you should not change the shape of that letter. That was not my intentions. My intentions were to not blow up that building so damn big. Any which way your intentions were, it changed the eye to anything else but that. You can't change the shape of somebody's letter, their tattoo, regardless of what it is. Either, Chris. If you would've put that thing any lower with the concave of his back, then your building would've went like that. I don't think there's that many tattooers in the building that would've run a needle through a letter. And everybody behind you is shaking their head no. Josh. You were dealt the same hand as Jason was. What was your plan here? He's a huge dude, and because of the size of his back and because of the concave, I had to do a lot of straightening of lines while I was tattooing. Obviously, these long lines on this curvature of the body, you're gonna have some warped areas, but overall, it's very clean. Technically, it's a strong tattoo. It really does have a striking image. It's bold. This was the hardest tattoo of the day by far. I think you did a good job for what you were given. Time to pull the judges between Josh and Jason. It's a clear-cut decision here. I mean, one of them stands out and looks strong and technically precise and go with Josh. I'm gonna go with Josh as well. Josh. Congratulations, man. Thank you. You will all have six hours to tattoo a new school landmark. And your time starts now. All right. I'll go ahead and put the stencil on you now. If you can't draw on this tattoo, you're definitely gonna have a hard time. The buildings, I'm gonna make them just really contorted. This now is crunch time for both teams. I think Ollie and I are in a dead heat. I don't think anybody's really running off with this thing yet. I just wanna get to five, and then I'm gonna show them what's up. Instead of doing this top part, I'm gonna just make that the top of the torch and bring it back behind there. Just so it fits. Yeah. Is that a good call? Yeah. For me as a captain, if my team is supposed to be the strongest and best it can be, then I'm happy to get rid of the weak ones. This is your final hour. 
I'm worried if I go to the bottom today. My report card can't help me too much. I gotta prove that I can be in the top 10. My man Tito's in deep Yeah, you're not looking good. Drawing is key today. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Team Nunez, today you had to show artistry by transforming a famous landmark into a new school tattoo. Nikki. It's questionable whether people are going to recognize this as a Lincoln Memorial. You've got to force that perspective all the way down so you could show both hands, maybe show more than Memorial. The feet should be this big and the head should be this big. That's like a hard force perspective. My handicap in this is I've been tattooing for five years. I don't know this style very well. I really dislike the shape of the background. This hard shaped patch looks super off. I hate the cupcake frosting hair all the way around the face. What happened? I was struggling a lot with making sure that it wasn't too wacky and too unrecognizable. Your limitations of what you thought was crazy held you back. Tito. Testing artistry, I have a multitude of problems with this drawing. The mouth is completely jacked. It's out of shape. Statue of Liberty, seven points on her crown. You have six. And that last point on the other side of the head, there's no way that point is connected to that crown and the direction that crown is turning. New school, you bend it. Weird choices. This is where your artistry is falling short. You should have just looked at the Statue of Liberty and drawn your own version. Time to hear from the jury of peers. Team Peck, why did you vote Tito to the bottom? There was just so many things wrong with it. The hairline, the eyes, the eyebrows. He was thinking just because it's new school, he could just do whatever with it, but it still got to look good. But does it look like a Tato of Liberty? All day. Tito, because where I did you even try me, the I'm drawing talking process? To the biggest letdown of this whole thing is just doing a floating head. It's a monument. And if all you're going to do to stay in this competition is draw a head, then you wrote your own ticket. You know I got the fundamental. Some of the people, they can't pull straight line from day one. Keywords today was a landmark, Nikki. So you needed to show more of the image. I think it's not being completely knowledgeable of what new school is. It's yeah, just that, that we don't. this whole body in there. We don't know that this is the memorial. That's the main issue. Judges. Time to determine who's going home. Tito. Chris. Tito. My vote is also for Tito. The judges have decided. Tito, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Today, you must tattoo a black and gray, realistic US landmark. What? Shit. Wow. Fail to impress the judges, and you will be going home. Good luck. Go, man. I'm Bob. Nice meeting you. Hi, Ron. How's it going? Today, I'm not looking for these guys to do a portrait of a landmark. I'm looking for these artists to render a landmark any way they see fit. The Portland headlight. It's a lighthouse known for being on a rock ledge. This is a tough ask. The landmark has to be recognizable. Otherwise, it could just be a corner in your block. I gotta look up pictures of what Independence Hall looks like. <laughs> Black and gray, realism, that's my thing. And honestly, I'm not even worried about the riffs. It's just, I don't think we're gonna be able to find a picture that'll fit that area and make it look good. That's I my only concern. I don't have very many other areas. When I picked this canvas, 50% of my strategy was being able to move it. But she doesn't have any open areas. Yeah, you have a lot of stuff. So, I'm now. Uh, the side is open. Yeah, that would be the, the riffs. What was your idea? Was the White House? What's the White House, yeah. The White House. Lower back wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't a realism day. Left or right, which one do you feel better about today? Uh, so you don't think in the middle? Just because of how this dip kind of happens in there? Mm hmm Whatever you put across there is kind of going to have like an indent, and it's never going to be like flat. If I have to put the White House in the center of his lower back, there will be warping, and it's just not going to fit well. I'm not sure if I'm going to get two, like, lower back tattoos. That's the only thing. I got gotcha. you. If I can't move this placement, then even done great, it's going to be bad. I kind of really just want it in the center. I'm not going to get two tram stamps. I'm in trouble. It does a weird thing when it's on you, mm -hmm. and it makes it look very convex. It's going to look weird. 
Do you have anything hip area at all? Yeah, that's a possibility. I could do that. This one here? Yeah. I can make that work. You all right? <laughs> can't tell what that means, man. You just keep laughing. <laughs> From the first line I pull, this dude is in excruciating pain. Oh, my god. I don't even have the needle on you right now. Oh, that devil hurts, huh? It's a nightmare. I cannot get any area of solid, clean tattooing on this guy, and I'm All right, honey. Let's take like a few minutes break and throw some water in my face. Oh, my god. I don't want to throw up on you. It sucks to know that after all the f***ing hard work, I could be going home because this guy can't sit still. Four hours left. You have four hours remaining, everybody. Yeah, my parents would probably like this spot better than the tramp stamp. It's a mean spot, like the one on the, on the back there. I'm feeling much better about doing this tattoo on the thigh, but it's still tricky. It's called the White House, and I have to recreate this in black. When did you start tattooing? I started tattooing at 17, and that was 15 years ago. So they wanted to see, right? Yeah. Realism is a time-consuming process. I don't do realism, so I'm trying to race through these last little details. I don't even know if I'm gonna even put any of the gesture lines because of all the rocks and stuff. It just kind of simplified everything else. Also, I still have the face of the dam to shade, which is the most important part because that is the monument. If I don't shade the monument, then I am screwed. Cool, man. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Today, you had to show smooth shading, tattooing a black and gray realistic US landmark. Let's see how you did. West, you're up. Bob. The problem is it's such an immense structure that anywhere there is detail is gonna be so tiny when you show the whole thing. I realized that when I got down to doing it. Did you ever consider not putting the top on and just working up to the rim of the dam? but it does have those towers, and I didn't want to, like, omit something that makes it what it is. Your one area of really nice shading is the face of the dam. Your rocks look really nice on the lower sections. The top just has an unfinished look. I respect your moxie to go for it, but the top of this tattoo is a pretty big miss. Stay strong, sir. East, you're next. Jessa. It is pretty messy. It's got rough line work, it's got rough shading. If we look at the underside of the road, all that black is just really stripy. For me, the real problem is that this road just does not line up with itself, and the fence doesn't line up with itself. Your illustration is a very smart approach. It's just nothing's real consistent. Midwest, you're next. Frank. It's definitely recognizable, but it is very messy. The amount of detail you put in this thing for a six-hour tattoo is crazy. We're testing shading today. And yes, you have dark areas, you have mid-tone areas, you have light areas, but there's no gradient, there's no transitions from dark to light. <sighs> They're not wrong. Today, you are being tested on shading. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Angel, why did the jury appear to send Frank to the bottom? At almost any point, I can zoom into it and find an issue. For example, look at the right three pillars. Those three aren't shaded the same at all. The light's coming from one side, and that's why the pillars are shaded differently as they move back no, to where the shaded No, I mean, they're shaded is. differently from each other. Yeah, because they're the different other side. pillars. They all should have different shading because it is round, and the light source is going to hit it differently. I'm not going to sit here and say that I did the best tattoo I've done here. Like, that's not what we're arguing. But you can tell that's the White House. So did you disagree in terms of voting Frank down? Oh, big time. I voted for Bob because he's by far the most illegible in the room. I really wanted to show all the pieces of the dam. I've been there before. If I had just chopped it off at the top, I'm going to get ridiculed forever for being like, yeah, but that's not the full dam. You didn't include the other power unit. Not by me. At least it's architecturally correct. The Brooklyn Bridge, the bridge does not pass through that giant concrete slab that's at the bottom. It's still recognizable as what it is. But it's wrong. Like, you're doing a national landmark. It should be correct and true to the landmark. I wish that I could have put some more stuff into there, but I mean, it, it does look like the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, judges, it is time to determine who's going home. Out of all three of these tattoos, 
Justin's tattoo had the best approach on this thing and still lost it. But I would say that Justin's tattoo still looks like the bridge. Yes. When I look at Bob's tattoo, it takes me a moment to figure out, oh, this is the Hoover Dam. The thing about Bob's tattoo is his black's not solid in the water, but the bottom section is carefully rendered. At least there's a glimmer of application. Jessa, for what little there is everywhere in this, from line work to shading, there is not little problems, but major problems. Jessa, my vote's for you. My vote is for Jessa. The judges have decided. Jessa, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Yeah, I just I don't think I could get out of my head, man. You proved your medal to yourself. You got everything in front of you. Take it and run with it. Please pack your machines and close shop. Come here. Good job. Thanks. again she's like ready i just cannot wait to see what ash has to say to me here we go see? it's the already. undertone you have to look out for oh <gasps> look who it is uh, if it isn't america's best teammate the girl with nine lives <laughs> i see we still have a little bit of a grudge huh i just don't like the person that you are oh yeah you threw me under the bus the first chance that you got, and now you want me to just forgive you like everything's cool. It's just playing the game. This isn't friend master. I'm not trying to make friends here. Well, you didn't make friends, don't worry. Look at that face. Just a mean frown. Game aside, I'm just the type of person where I have morals and I go off that. I understand that, but unfortunately, it just doesn't get you anywhere in this game. They're talking about morals, like, as a person. I mean, this is pretty deep. Well, there was pretty it's deep. It's definitely yeah. a personal I mean, grudge, for sure. Let's this go settle this yeah. and get it going. Let's find out what's actually up. I did what I did. There's no going back. That's great, Alexis. I'm glad that you're proud of your decision, but I stand by my morals, and... Come on, fireballs. You better get ready for a big old competition. These guys are gonna sit there and whine all day? Man, you guys got some beef. I'm just the type of person where I'm gonna stick up for my team and my girls, and she has not an ounce of that in her body. It's a game. Am I wrong? This is a game. I played it. There's always two sides of every story, so you guys wanna throw down? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. We are giving you the opportunity to settle all of this. We're gonna throw at you a 90-minute face-off tattoo, head-to-head, -head, just you ladies, where we get to pick what your girls will be tattooing today. Total level playing field, no bullshit. Oh, damn. 90 minutes, that's not enough time to do anything. That's not even enough time for me to put my hair in. Whoever wins gets a huge advantage. You're going to be able to choose either the style or the subject matter that the both of you have to tattoo in tomorrow's mm. six hour grudge match tattoo. I'll take that. Well, this is a huge advantage. I can really set Ash up for failure. If I pick something that she is not comfortable with, that could get in her head. And the winner of that grudge match ends it all. Buries those skeletons and ends this grudge. About time. Don't talk to me. I mean, what do you think we should give him? I feel like it's a cat fight. And we should do some cats. 90 okay. minute cat tats. 90 minute cat tats. All right. Go get them. Come on. Why aren't you yeah, guys drawing yet? I tell you right now, this is going to be insane. I think they're going to throw down. You think? Let's see how you do without your precious team. I just don't understand why you're talking to me. In our second grudge, season 10 Zen Master Coach Anthony Michaels saw his team taken out by the cunning strategist, Josh Payne. If there was a talk master, it's all you. That silver tongue, it's not working today. I'm on the same platform as you, so don't walk around here like you're better and bigger. And now, Anthony's out for revenge. Look who I'm going up against. I had to bring it. All right, I mean, this is pretty crazy, guys. Two Ink Masters have beef. It doesn't get any more epic than that. Oh, I'm excited about today. 
what are these guys even arguing about? Well, the thing is, is Josh is really good at manipulation, and that's a skill in itself. Yes. Anthony is a gentleman. He likes to play by the rules, vary by the book, and Josh is throwing all these tricks at him, and I think Anthony's just like, whoa, 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 what rule book are you following? That's where this grudge stemmed from. This competition is full of adversity, which is what I was brought up from. I'm here to help all of you be the best you that you can be. In this industry, a lot of people, even though there are competitions, they tend to kind of shy away from it. So when they see me come in being competitive, they're like, oh, this dude's just an asshole. It's like, no, nah, man, if there's a prize to win, I'm gonna win it. I push buttons and it worked. I'm still here and I'm gonna keep fighting. Then we're gonna gun at you. I'm gonna do everything I can to shit on your world. That's just the way the game goes. This grudge match is all about revenge. One of my biggest goals is to show Josh, you don't have to be a dick, you don't have to be loud. Look, we're here to tattoo. I really want this shop to be relaxing, balanced, comfortable, a place of positivity. If this was a yelling match, Josh might have the upper hand, but that's not what we're here for. I'm gonna let him run his mouth, I'm gonna do a badass tattoo, and I'm gonna give Josh a run for his money. Do your shoulders hurt? Because oh. you just got to carry the weight of that, that crowd. How many times do your clients come in and they're like, you're not as big a dick as I thought you were going to be? They all say that. I won the title of Ink Master kind of on a question mark. A lot of people think I won with my mouth and not my work. This will be my chance to really prove how good I am and the fact that I deserve it. Back again. Look at the Man. loafer. He's going on a cruise. People that rock those don't give a They don't. Oh, Mr. Payne. Look who showed up late. Come down here, let's have a conversation, like adults, if you know how to do that. I'm not good at it. No? I know. I know you were hell-bent on taking my team out, and your strong point was this mental warfare. I'm the best. I knew I was the best. I came in to win this whole thing. I am who I am for a reason, and I do what I do. As I told you then, and I'm going to tell you now, you're screwed. Anthony's calmness is a bit intimidating. It's a whole different kind of mind trickery. I'm representing all those artists that should have taken you out. I'm here to finish the job. Let's go. All right, all right let's get in there. One last wolf to take out. That silver tongue, it's it's great. It's not working today. Yeah, boys. Uh-oh. Look at this hey, matchup. Hey, guys. This should be interesting. This is epic. I mean, I wore a fancy shirt today. It's gonna be a bloodbath, man. I'm not representing just myself. I'm representing my team. I have a lot to lose. I took out his entire team, and there's one last wolf to kick out of the pack. Honestly, may the best man win. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna even the playing field. No one has the upper hand. We're gonna give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo. All right. Where we decide what you're gonna be tattooing. The winner of that face-off tattoo gets to pick the style or the subject matter for a six-hour grudge match tattoo. That's big. That's a big game changer. And whoever wins this six-hour grudge match tattoo settles the score, ends it all. That's it. <sighs> I haven't done a small tattoo in years. Well, like, today's the day. Like legitimately, yeah. I talk for 90 <laughs> minutes a tattoo. Like, when am I supposed to work? Definitely going to take this to the wire, then. I think it's safe to say. <laughs> what are we going to give them? How about we let them surprise us? What do you like mean? What? So like, don't pick like, anything? They're Ink Masters. I'm down with that. The worst thing you can tell me to do is, is anything, anything I want to do. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's the biggest challenge. <sighs> you guys don't got much time to draw. You want to start drawing? That might be a oh. good get, idea. Get to work. I'd be gone. I'd be like, gone. Good luck, do guys. It. Oh, man. Let the Wait. tournament begin. Oh, man. Oh, what do I do? Man, I'm surprised you're, you're a little thrown off. Problem is I got too many things in my head. I just got to rein myself in a little bit. So it's not idea master, drawing master right now. It's tattooing, and that's when I'm showing up, bud. We'll see. We will. All right, fellas. You guys ready to get this started? Yes, sir. Born ready. Anthony, cool, calm, and collective. Just walk in the park, baby. Josh, you got the jitters out? I'm good. You got the duct tape? That I can't promise. You guys get to do whatever you want in this 90-minute face-off. Your time, it starts right now. Let's go. Check that out, dude. I like it. Looks good. <laughs> this is going to be a cool tattoo. Anthony Michaels and Josh Payne, man. This is two ink masters. This 90-minute face-off tattoo, it's to get them back into the game. All right, daddy. Let's do it. Hour and a half might take a while if you're, you know, watching a movie. But in here, that clock ticks. In art, apparently, you're not allowed to be competitive. Everybody's like, why does it got to be like that? I go, yeah. I, I want to win. Exactly. Josh is like that dog in the neighborhood that just 
barks. I got thrown every single curveball they could have thrown, and at this point, if I got to take out the coach, yeah. I got to do what I got to do. All the time. Time to put an end to the reign of the wolf pack. All right, Ash, Alexis, you guys got 90 minutes to do catty tatties. You ready to get this cat fight started? Absolutely. All right, let's tattoo. Woo. You ready? Ready. I'm doing a black and gray realistic cat portrait. I'm gonna do it nice and small, but still make sure that I focus on the details. The fact that I get to do what I want to do, I feel confident. In case you didn't know, that's what a real tattoo machine sounds like. Sorry, I can't hear you. This is what I do every day. This is what I'm good at. Alexis is gonna learn today. Hello. Already? Tell me about 90 minutes. A 90 minute tattoo can throw you off way more than you realize because you could do a design and it looks like it's small, but if it has a lot of detail in it, that's where you have to realize as an artist what are the most important things that need to be in this tattoo. My biggest concern is just making sure that it's technically solid as hell. Fastest tattoo I've ever done in my life. All right, we are already down to one hour. Only 60 minutes left, ladies. Hi. How's it going? Cat tax. 56 minutes, huh? Yeah. Ash is doing a portrait. A portrait in 90 minutes. Doing a cat portrait in general is tough because all of the fur and texture, but in 90 minutes, I mean, that's insane. It looked like small and easy to do. You have got to get a move on, baby. I know. 90 minutes just goes so fast. Artists, do you have six hours to tattoo a traditional illustrative portrait? And your time begins now. All right, dude, let's do it. Let's see if we can get this thing to work. Step on over here, my am. This is Portrait Day with a Twist. We're asking these artists to do renderings of photographs. So the photograph and the portrait that they create have to look alike, but they have full license to use heavy lines, heavy color, deep black shading. I think we'll be able to pull it off. Let's do it. They can do it as they see fit, as long as they capture the look of the picture. Let's see what we could get started, all right? Yeah. Here we go. It's confusing, because they said illustrative traditional portraits. So it's like, well, which one is it? Traditional is the exact opposite of portraits. Portraits are realistic, not much line work at all. Traditional is bold outlines and solid black that's whipped out. People want it to look like the people. So that's why I was like, when I was doing yours, I'm like, I'm gonna try to make it look like as I can. And then like the hair and the shirt, stuff like that, I can get a little bit more traditional. Did more illustrative face with traditional hair and body. I think a lot of people would assume that being illustrative would be easier, but changing some of these features to make them simpler is actually gonna be harder. So I'm a little worried, not for me, but for time. I was afraid that I scared you away. I wasn't trying to be mean. I hope she doesn't think I, no, I'm actually I, really I nice. No, I definitely went back and I was like, I don't think this is gonna work. Since I got to go more illustrative, now I have to show a little bit more detail and the face is too small to show all the details and make it look like this person. I got a little nervous. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, we felt the same, but we feel the same now, so that's better. That's it. It has teeth in the tattoo and I don't know how to approach this without making it look like it has veneers. Ah, oh, shit, grandma's got a mustache. Oh my God, <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? Tough crowd, tough crowd. I am shook as Four hours left, everybody. The biggest thing that can go wrong with doing a portrait in any style is that it doesn't look like who it's supposed to look like. So I gotta ask, how did you get the name Creepy Jason? Uh, that's just kind of a joke in the shop. Yeah. Me saying inappropriate things. Right. And then people would say, that's Creepy Jason. And then it sucked <laughs> to, that's Creepy Jason. The more you put in this tattoo is the more that you can be judged on, but I always like to have something in that tattoo that reflects on the relationship between the person and the portrait. They used to do a lot of fishing, so I'm throwing a fishing lure into it just as an extra element. So you got family back in Maryland? Fishing lure into it just as an extra element. So you got family back in Maryland? I do, man, got a kid. Happens to be one of those like rotten teenagers. How old are you? You don't look old enough to have a teenage kid. Yeah, what do you think? That's like designer gray in my beard, man? I earned that uh, shit. You know? 
I left everything that I love to be here. I left my son, I left my shop. I hope that the sacrifice that I'm making right now is going to pay off. So how did you know this kid? We we're basically training together. Oh, really? That's where you really kind of make the bonds, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, you're going yeah through we got real close. Anytime you do a memorial piece, the expectations are super, super high. I mean, this is his friend. He passed away overseas, and that's heartbreaking. My boyfriend's in the military. Okay. Yes, he's actually about to go to Afghanistan again. Every time my boyfriend leaves to go overseas, I can't think of all the bad things that could happen, but for some reason I always do. My mind just goes there, and I hate it, and I can't even imagine the people out there who have lost their loved ones overseas. Worst possible scenario right now is that I up this dude's face and it does not look like his friend and I am not prepared to do that. It is not gonna happen, I'm not gonna let it happen. Final two hours. She's such a cutie. My canvas wants a portrait of her daughter on her shoulder blade. I'm just making sure it's like super, super clean. I've been excited for portrait day since day one. I'm gonna make it look great, just, you know, because it's your daughter. The kid portrait is a difficult ask, but I think the full body one was probably more difficult. And I'm really surprised that Pond gave that to himself. I think I'm going home. Why? Like, I'm supposed to be making it look traditional, but I went to black and gray. Like this? Yours is nice. Mine uh, doesn't look traditional, though. I feel like you have to go traditional, but not so traditional where it doesn't look at the person anymore. Mm -hmm. Have you looked at the girls? Laura's is not traditional at, at all. I don't think mine's traditional enough. We'll make it. How do I do that? There's so many factors that come into play specifically with child portraits that you cannot do. You can't put harsh lines on the eyes or anything or else. The child can either look like it's wearing makeup or that they're older than they really are. Dude, everyone's doing different stuff. I don't get it. They want what uh, Jason's doing. How am I supposed to do that with a little kid? That was the whole point. Oh, OK. So that's the curveball you guys were throwing me. Yeah. My mind automatically flocks to realism when I do portraits, so I'm still stuck in that mindset. I think I'm in trouble for the first time. To try to completely change that, I mean, I hate to say it, but I might have just found my weak spot. Here I was all, you know, really pumped for portrait day, and I, I don't know what happened. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. The dimples make this tattoo. No, it really does, though. It's like literally perfect. Everything I ever imagined. All right, dude. I can't believe it. You put my dad on my leg. Like, it's perfect. <laughs> it's, it's, it's exactly what I wanted. I'm so excited. Does it look like your friend? Absolutely. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Killed it. Yes! I mean, I'm definitely going to be at the bottom regardless, so. Right. I'm hoping that one of you guys takes uh, Tattoo of the Day uh -huh. so that we could uh, potentially send two girls down. I am genuinely worried that I will probably go home. I think that I just misunderstood. This could be the moment where Laura takes a nosedive out of this competition. Thanks for the mini pick. I'm about to pull out every trick I got in my bag to take this little tiny photo and make a great portrait. Today, you had to tattoo the ultimate test of precision, matching portraits. Clean and Aaron. This challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. Golden Skull Tattoo, you're up first. Clean, did you practice before you came? Yes. I definitely want to tip my hat to you, man. You did a great portrait here. The eyes and the mouth, you hit them perfectly, especially that little turned up corner of the lip on the right side is what really captures her look. Aaron, I like the way you did the black in the hair. Your hair maybe is a little bit better than Clean's, but as far as the application on the face and everything, Clean might have made it a little more smooth. Y'all did a great job taking the exact same approach on the tattoo. I mean, you really try to mimic each other's stencil to the T. There's a lot of precision in this tattoo. I do portraits all the time. 
I don't see anybody in this house beating me on a portrait challenge. Sometimes when you wipe it, it's worse than a tattoo. Yes, that. I took a big risk playing my strategy the way I did, staying in that middle ground. Now that things are heating up, I need to step it up and start winning. Nate. You captured the likeness. I like the way that you captured the little indention on the top of the nose and the really subtle highlights in the eyes. And that little glimmer is perfect. I love the way you put a line right on his hand. Normally, a lot of people won't do that, and it gets washed out. Accuracy. It hits the mark. Thank you. What's your favorite style of tattoo? This right here. Portraits. I do it all the time. This stuff's looking good. Gonna be pretty rad. I need to crush this today. I need to let everybody know in the house that this wasn't even a competition. Christian. As far as capturing a likeness, you really get the personality and the look of this person. You cut down on the number of wrinkles, but kept the direction and the flow of the wrinkles just right. Smart choices on how to interpret what's in the real photo. The actual way that you do the hair coming over that right ear, perfect. It's beautiful because her hair is really white and light over that ear. You nail it. This was a great attention to detail. You're definitely ahead of the curve when it comes to portraits. Let me see what I'm working with here. I mean, man, if you'd let me go, like, right there, I could go pretty good size, and that spot on your leg is open. Mm. It'll give us, we'll be able to get way more detail because the skin's a lot more solid and forgiving. Yeah, man, I'm thinking about more of the butt. Let me knock this thing out of the park, my man. Well, if you want to do it there, let's do it. Killer, you're the man. You're going to make cool, my man. life easy. I'm going to make sure I kill this thing. All right. I'm stoked about how this thing's gonna look. It's gonna be ridiculous. My goal is to make my picture look like a black and gray portrait of Oliver run through a red filter. That's what monochromatic means. Everyone else's looks like a normal portrait, just shaded with kind of the wrong color. Everything you have right here in this mustache, yeah. if you line that with a three or something, yeah. you, it's done for you. Yep, and then just, then just shade off it. That's the plan. I'm gonna knock this out of the park and make this a landslide victory. Josh. As far as this looking like Oliver, it hits that 100%. He really hit the wrinkles under the eyes. Oliver definitely has these deep cheeks. This mustache and the facial hair are killer. I mean, it is me. It's weird to look at it. I mean, that's my nose. Like, that's not just a nose. It's kind of like my nose. That's like my nose. Even the one little chipped tooth I have, the front tooth it shows. I mean, all these little things that kind of make me a funny looking guy all come to life in this thing. I like your approach on the monochromatic idea. More of an earthy tone, but it's deep, it's solid. There's a lot of saturated areas. The highlights are very pronounced. It's miles beyond what we usually see on Portrait Day here. Thank you. That only could be one Wolverine. Uh, yeah, it might be me. Yeah, I think it might be me. My guy won the last challenge, so. Only time will tell, amigo. I am so focused, there is no way that Maddie's gonna beat me. It's awesome, man. If he wins, he can validate his skill. If I win, you know, it's cool. I used to get in a lot of fights. By the time I was 21, I got in a really bad fight. I put a guy in the hospital. I could have killed him. Finding tattooing saved my life. It's bold, man. I dig it. Scott. You stuck to the structure of the face. You kept the likeness of the character. Not going with the dark background around the hair, I think, is a wise choice. This tattoo has a ton of technical precision. That nice, clean netting in that armor, it's beautiful. The glow in the background is nice. It's a good use of color palette, and overall, it's a really strong tattoo. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right. This gets hard when you're in a bad mood. Like, my arm just killing me. Sucks, dude. I'm really at the end of my rope with this aggressive, competitive, weird strategy and bizarre class challenges. Let me see what kind of morph business we got going on over here. This is Megan right here. God, I wasn't in a better mood. Hanging out with Clean is sort of my only motivation to stick around. If this wasn't my style of tattooing today, I'd probably already have left. How do you feel about it? Super cool. Big. Next artist up is... Please on me, please on me, please on me. Megan Jean. Damn it. What's going on? I hate being here right now. I'm completely over it. I want to go home. I am tired of living here, and I'm tired of tattooing here. I don't appreciate that attitude, because we all have families at home. We all have lives at home. And I don't think that 
you're respectful to the people behind you or the people in front of you. If you don't want to be here, we can take out the worst tattoo of the day and send you home. Should I critique you or are you done? You thrown in the towel? No, I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm just crying. I figure I'm just going to have a couple of days and then, like, get over it. This is probably the most surreal tattoo of the day. I think you hit the surrealism challenge better than anybody else. Also, it's my favorite composition of the day. A lot of open skin, it flows really well. You keep your realism down to a small amount, and then you have all this fantastical stuff around, and it just played really well. I was hoping that this would be the wind in your sail to move you forward, not for you to fall on your sword in front of us. It's tough. You can be tough. Don't break. Thanks. Each of you have a placement in crayons. Placemat? Should say placemat. Oh, my bad. I'm not an archaeologist. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. Hey guys, it's Sarah Miller. I'm Bubba Irwin, and I'm about to beat her at the Inkbox Challenge. That's what you think. You ready? Ah! So welcome to the ink box challenge. Inside the box, each of you have a placemat and crayons. And? Perfect. Yeah, but we only have 10 minutes to draw a portrait of your opponent on the placemat. Yeah, that'll, that'll be easy. <laughs> ink master fans will determine the winner. And I can't let you see what I'm doing. No sneaking peeks. All right. Worst luck to you. I'm ready. Oh, you didn't even get your supplies. I don't need them. You don't need them? You're just gonna like wave your hand and boom, magic? It's like Battleship. Well, I mean, like, we have to do, like, a portrait of each other, too. So, I mean, like, I guess this kind of works. It's almost like Battleship. Just remember how Brad Pitt looks in Troy. <laughs> do you have a boring color? Do I have a boring color? Yeah. Like, what? You know, like, super boring. All right, are we starting? Your time starts... Now. Now. Ten minutes, Jesus. Nothing like a little bit of pressure, huh? Are you going to try, or are you not? I'm totally going to try. Bye. I'm just gonna draw you as a, a guy version of you. Can I draw you with a mustache? Yeah. And like maybe a little bit of a beard. Well, I mean, like I, I do like musicals, and you know, I was at Coney Island on my seasons. So sure. Yeah. Why not? A little five o'clock shot never hurt anybody. Hey, let me see your chin. Hmm. Hmm. Very manly. It's a manly chin. Hey, yours too. Uh. Oh, I can't hit delete on this thing. Nope. Sarah does this shit all the time. That's why she's quiet. <laughs> I haven't done this since college. This reminds me of the first time I got kicked off. How many times have you gotten kicked off? Once, really, but... Well, there you go. We're I even. killed it, though. Well, no, I, we're I, even. I, I got kicked off it. once, too. I, I earned it. Five minutes remaining, man. No peeking. I honestly didn't mean to give you a mustache, but I feel like oh, know, at this no. point, at this point, I don't really, can't really erase crayon. Well, yours is gonna be real sketchy, just say now. I don't think mine's gonna be much better. Two minutes! Ah. Crayon down. God, this looks like an eight-year-old. <laughs> drew it. Time's up. Damn it! No, not yet. Ah! Okay. I hope yours is better than mine. Oh my god. This is like a damn photograph. <laughs> Looks exactly like you. I mean, I, I I like the lipstick. I spent most of the time on the shading of the upper lip. I mean, like I think you've really captured my likeness. The, I, I love the I love the glasses. The gla I, I mean, focused like, a honestly, lot. Honestly, my brows totally. Flip. I I couldn't even tell it's, the difference. It's, the judges it's would love it. Aesthetically amazing. I, I, tried, I really tried to accentuate your jawline. It's perfect. My neck's a little thin. Well, I mean, it's a caricature, but it's okay. Oh, it's, I mean, oh, I thought it said portrait. Yeah, I think you beat me fair and square. That's fine. I'm into well, dude, seriously, it's not up to us. It's up to them to vote who is the winner. Don't be ashamed. Seriously, Just ten minutes. Ten minutes. It's like a, I have a black and gray photograph of you Seriously. with a splash of color.
Okay, Gian and Nate, this is your last chance to earn a spot in the live finale by tattooing a new school landmark. You have five hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Busting my ass on this one. New School Landmarks is the one that everybody wanted to be safe before they had to do. Oh, man, it's a real head-to-head -head here. There's literally only one other person standing in your way of going to life and alley. You used to do a lot of New School tats, didn't you? I did some in the 90s. Yeah. It's been a while. This is the most intense pressure for one tattoo that either of these guys have probably ever had in their life. I got into tattooing after I got out of jail. It actually helped me stop drinking and drugging. Hold real still, because I'm about to start to fly. Tattooing is pretty much my entire life. I've invested almost a quarter century into this. If I'm not a master, then who the hell is? Just use like a little bit of tangerine and do it real washy. I'm really nervous about doing this design. I don't even know where to start. If you're nervous, like go in really softly on some of the highlights. Kelly is showing me how she draws new school, and I'm listening to every little bit she's given to me. Just to make that black look nice and rich. She's got a tattoo like it's the last day of my life to make sure I got a win. Where's her other boot? Got to indicate that somewhere. I don't need somebody else around trying to mess up what I'm doing. I've been tattooing a lot longer than Kelly Ryan, so I don't need somebody interrupting and giving me their two cents worth. How much like orange do you think you're gonna put in? In that flame? In her. I don't know if I'm gonna put any. You couldn't hear my eyebrows raising just now, but they did. The entire basis of New School is making things dynamic, and dynamic would also mean dynamic color play. Mm. Not 100% sure on that. John and Nate, that is two hours left. Two hours, guys. Game is killing me right now. Leave yourself enough time to put that bright color in, OK? I'm throwing everything I got into this tattoo. I've never been to the bottom. Nate has been to the bottom so many times. He's trying to convince people that he's doing it on purpose. Bull Nate should go home and stick his strategy up his ass. Five. Four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down. No more ink. Done, buddy. Whew, that was a workout, man. Gian is not a new school tattooer, and it shows. What is new school if not wall-to-wall -wall color? He colored it like a traditional tattoo. You're all done. Nate's Statue of Liberty has one boob. I told you. Uh. Oh, God, it's hours ago. It could go either way. All right. Go. Go ahead. What's in the box? Hey, guys, welcome to the Ink Box Challenge. I'm Ryan Ashley. And I'm Joey Hamilton. And I'm about to kick his ass. We'll see about that. Want to open it? No. What? What kind of? I don't know. Are you afraid? Maybe. You should be. Ladies first. No, ready? One, two, three, go. Right. Let's do it together. All right. One, Let's... two, three, go. Oh, man. What... That's not good. Inside of the box, each of you have a t-shirt, markers, and a mirror. You have 10 minutes to draw a self-portrait on the shirt. It'd be have... funnier if I was drawing you and you were drawing me. I mean, it would but, be. But thank would be. God, because I got an ugly mug. It'd be easy to Hopefully draw. Hopefully, there's a silver marker, and there is. Uh, Ink Master fans, you guys get to determine the winner. It says good luck, but I don't you don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. Me neither. Let's. On a t-shirt, even? Oh, On my God. On the t-shirt. Or what's the mirror for? If you don't have your own face memorized by I now, I don't. I don't look at myself in the mirror too much. You must not be as much. vain as I am. I'm going to do my face over the heart. Oh, that's a good idea. Look at me already copping you. <gasps> already? You guys see this? Strike one for Joey. He's already copying look how easy me. That was. My great ideas. No one specified it had to be color, right? True. This could well, be I'm a black and gray challenge. Given the amount of time given, I'm going to play smart and go monochromatic. 
I'm assuming you're going to copy me on that one as well, though. So. I already thought about that five minutes ago. Oh, did you? Yeah. Because we haven't been doing this for five minutes. It would be much easier to draw on your it would face. Be, it would be my second victory, third victory, fourth. How many and am what? I up to now? No, well, you're at one. So, and so far, At least we know yes, you but, can't count. Okay, but so we'll start like from there. But I like to plan ahead. Okay. Oh, there I go. That's free. In the tattoo world, that's free to see you. I was going to draw uh -uh. the guy. <laughs> that's against the rules. Ready to start the clock? All right, let's put it out of the way. We have it. 10 minutes. And our time starts now. now. How big does that have to be? Like small? Like, I'm gonna do a little. How big here. is your face? About palm size. Did you start with the schnoz? No, I started with my goatee. What the hell is that? That's my goatee. What do you mean? What is that? What is that? Like I thought that was a He's biker serious. from from He's... an '80s cartoon. Wow, that is a lot of eyelashes, huh? I think this is one of those times when you realize you don't look that good as you think. What is that? That's my nose ring. Oh. It's my defining feature. Your nose ring is your defining My nose ring. You just don't have the same, I don't know, priorities as I do. My nose does not need a nose ring to... Do you think they made us do this because we think we're vain? And like, what is the point of drawing something of ourselves? I don't know, but it's pretty humbling. I thought I was a good artist until right now. It's hard for me to draw my own lips since they change so often. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, this looks ridiculous. I can't. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, you gave no, your, no, you no, gave no, no. yourself some lips. Wait, wait, Winner. I, don't I, don't here. I don't even need to finish. I don't even need to finish. Hold on. Oh my god. What makes that you? That looks like Fred Durst. He'll probably watch and go, what? I don't look like that guy. <laughs> I'm sure we got like three minutes left, so you better hurry up. Oh jeez. I draw the wrinkle in my forehead. Go ahead, put a bunch of really dark lines right across your drawing. It almost looks like Dave a little bit. All right, all right. Listen, they're not judging this, so don't be trying to suck up. Blah, blah. This is the real me. All right, this time. Let's God damn it. <laughs> all right, let me see yours. Ready? All right. So. Ta da! I'll say this, you did yours really big, like your personality. Oh, is that why? I think I just got a little overzealous. Yours looks pretty good. Uh, yours look like a mug shot. It's a self-portrait, and so uh, I look at myself. Let's be accurate, then. Mine's got that bewildered. <laughs> I guess America, or Ink Master fans, get to pick whose is better. I think it's pretty obvious. Vote for me, please. But, you know. Pick me, pick me. See you guys on the winning side. How will you do that? Because it's my when side. All right, guys, you have six hours to show contrast tattooing a monochromatic portrait. And your time starts now. Let's do this. All right, let me grab what I need real fast. Okay, so I'm going to place the sense on you standing up so I don't lay down just yet. Portrait day in the Ink Master house has always been an atrocity. Today, we're looking for that to change. Oh, he's going to put it on the thighs, then we're going to put it on the butt. I knew he was going to cop out. This could be tricky because these artists will be able to use only one color for contrast in these tattoos. Some of the details don't get so fine away because if you put blue against it, you're not going to see them. This is the top five anyone could potentially edge in. That's gonna be black, dude. Well, what's gonna be my darkest tone, though? I would not go yeah, navy no, blue. Could... I would go this blue. I'm the last person on Steve's team. I feel like obligated to take his advice at this point. That is super dark. But Steve is just fighting me on everything that I feel is right. I can use this blue and that blue. No, you can't. You're wrong. 
I may be down to one artist, but now I don't have any more weak links. All my focus could be on Roly. You only get one blue. And if you put that dark blue next to that black, dude, it's gonna be all black. I'm going against my instinct, and I'm going with what Steve is telling me to do, but I'm just wondering if I'm doing the right thing here. This is my day to show off, and I just shot myself in the foot. So I'm kind of referencing this in this picture. I'm seeing where I put my black be like in this kind of like darker area of the dark red. I just want to make sure that's correct. I mean, that's the only way I see it. If that's all you can use right there, that's the only way. I'm hitting the challenge, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that this photo is blurry and wonky, and so is my tattoo. I could be screwed. All right, guys, five more hours to go. Jason, because the photo's out of focus, I would sharpen it up, clean it up. I'm doing everything I can to make sure my artists I have now are standing with me at the finale. Look at the shapes that the shadows are making of the hair and then texture out the hair. Well, it's not like that in the picture. Jason's whole reference photo is blurry, so it's going to be really, really difficult to pull the features from the photo to his tattoo. Well, I just, I'm just i afraid it's... to add something to a picture that isn't there and then get called out for it. In my opinion, if you're doing a portrait tattoo, based off of a photo, I feel like you need to most accurately represent that photo. When you tell me those things, it just makes me worry that people are making comments that it's not. No, it's... I'm just, I'm being nitpicky myself. It's interesting to see who's going to take the artistic liberty and tattoo it how it should be represented as opposed to like, oh, it's muddy in the photo, so it's muddy on the tattoo. It's just like, no. Well, you have to. Like Deanna's. Deanna's doesn't have hair, so you can't put hair. No way. It's a likeness. It should be apples to apples, It has to look right? like the photo, yeah. yeah. I would think if so. it's an old photo and it's muddy, you have to do that muddy yeah. in the skin. I'm on the other side with that. I'm stoked about how this thing's going to look. It's going to be ridiculous. My goal is to make my picture look like a black and gray portrait of Oliver run through a red filter. That's what monochromatic means. Everyone else's looks like a normal portrait, just shaded with kind of the wrong color. Everything you have right here in this mustache, yeah. if you line that with a three or something, yeah. you, it's done for you. Yep, and then just, then just shade off it. That's the plan. I'm going to knock this out of the park and make this a landslide victory. Two more hours. I got a handful of things in my head that I'm debating on what I'm going to do. You could do what you're going to do instead of what everybody else is doing. No, I'm already going totally different than what Wands is, so. With only five artists left, my biggest competition is still Josh. I'm going to go a little more graphic style with it, with the monochromatic. I think that's the best play to give it the best look. Let's see. I don't know. Josh thinks he won this thing. He thinks he's the best, but I'm the one to beat here. My piece, it's going to be bulletproof. As far as portrait day, likenesses are pretty much on point. Yeah. Deanna and Jason had the hardest ones. Hers had a focus photo and his is like whitewashed. If I, I for me, the bottom right now, honestly, there's rollies. It's not keeping up that with the rest of the tricks. We could be no more Team Steve. That's true. This is a tricky game, man. You never know how it's going to end. It's going to be tricky. It is. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. All done. We all feel good, and you're all done. I'll clean you up, and then we can check it out, all right? I, it's, his, it's literally him. Absolutely amazing. Couldn't ask for better. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. Oh, it's killer, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Deanna's tattoo has really shocked me. Hopefully we win. One step closer. I know. I know how well she does portraits, and for her to drop the ball on a tattoo when she had skull pick is kind of a big deal. Well, good luck. Thank you. Okay, artists, you will have six hours to tattoo matching portraits. Your time starts now. All right. Yes. Let's do it.
when you go get a portrait, you don't want it to almost look like the person, almost don't count. I think I should go a little bit smaller than this and a little bit bigger than that. It's very important that they stay precise to the photo as well as to each other. This is tough. You don't know if your partner's gonna go off on a tangent and do something crazy. Are you super ready? Let's do this, April. you check what I'm doing to make sure that we're on the same page? Yeah. I am at Eva's mercy on this one. I'm definitely not the best portrait tattooer. So this is the gap where it's like where this is. Yeah, there's one lower and one higher. Mm -hmm. so and this they're kind is... of wrap around. Yep, you got it. Mm -hmm. Like that? Yeah, that looks right to me. I know that she knows what she's doing, so I'm just going to try to do the same. It's a trust game at this point. Uh, your skin gets really red really easy. Oh, yeah, that's, that's about true. It. Yeah, that always yeah. happens. Yeah. Oh, my god. Her skin is lighting up like a damn Christmas tree. You see how's it going, bro? You know, just making sure, because it's, like, getting really irritated, so I have to be, like, super gentle. I have to do a super subtle, soft baby portrait, and I can't tell how dark the ink is? I am so screwed. Oh, no. You have four more hours remaining. What do you got for in this section? Is that a one and then this is a, a skin tone or is that? Most likely, I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay. I'm a little worried about Tom because it has been so long since he's done a portrait. I'm gonna say that's a skin tone. Yeah, that's a skin tone. All right, I'm sorry, that's a one. I just hope that he can rely on my strengths to help guide him through it because you can't wander on a portrait. You have to do exactly what's in front of you. What up? Thanks for the mini pick. Over here trying to give us the bad skull, and then we, uh, what's up? Step to the stage, homie. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it worked. Because I got the skills to pay the bills, man. You know what? We're just going to have to bite the bullet, and I'm about to pull out every trick I got in my bag to take this little tiny photo and make a great portrait. How are we going to judge this? We may have some clear bottoms, which might save us a lot of hard work. Allegory Arts, they're just using color photos thrown off to the side on a black and gray portrait. That's crazy, and they're backed to each other. She's not even looking at the photo, she's just tapping. Artistic skin design, did you notice the skin differences? Canvas is everything, man. You got an older woman, a young lady, their skins react different. One, just you put gray in and it's gray. The other one, you put the same gray and it don't look like nothing. It yeah, just turns red. beat red. Unkindness Art, her portrait. It's phenomenal. It's the one. But if he doesn't step it up to her level, yeah, they can lose. What's up, Doom? God, you guys are flying. Holy crap. It is overly apparent that Doom has never done a portrait in his life. You know you're going to do it in this competition. Instead, you come in here and scratch something out on that dude's arm. That's ridiculous. Final hour. One hour to go. I just really need you to relax your shoulders. The more tense you are, the worse it's going to be for both of us, so. My canvas is like tattooing a crying, squealing, mechanical bull. This is like 30 seconds work that we're turning into 10 minutes right now. If she does not just sit still and let me do my job, we might not finish at all. I can hear Aaron's canvas moaning from across the shop. Dane's tattoo turns red every time he touches the lady. I'm over here like a fish out of water. I don't know how Black Cobra figured out how to get us all at one time, but they definitely have. The Alliance is in trouble. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Take a look and see what we got, yeah? Those look great. Yeah. Look at that. Are they twins? What's going on here? <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Looks like mom. Absolutely. Glad we could do that for you guys. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely. This is awesome. For sure. The stages of stress today were insane. Now I'm like, yeah, totally. If it's going to get worse, well, I'm glad I got warmed up on that one. Yeah. Bring it on. Six more to send home. Dude, we killed yeah. it. I think we did good. Okay, artists, you have six hours to tattoo an accurate portrait of a toddler. And your time starts now.
do this. Just sit there on the edge okay. again. Let's get this stencil on. This is a great test of accuracy because you have different fabrics, expressions, hairstyles, you have hats. Any little difference from the photo can change these portraits into somebody else fast. It's the perfect style. I wanted to make sure, like, A, it fits the area, plus this way I get to get all that detail in his eyes. Right now, I think that I still am in a pretty good seat with my top three players, and that still leaves me in a good position to battle Ollie. This doesn't look that good, does it? I'm the only one that doesn't do portraits. I feel like I'm overthinking my design. I have way too much detail in it. I'm just gonna scratch the whole thing. I'm gonna start all over again. Yeah, it was kinda weird. Gion's freaking out right now. This is the best possible scenario for me. I do portraits all the time. I don't see anybody in this house beating me on a portrait challenge. Sometimes when you wipe it, it's worse than a tattoo. Yeah, that hat. I took a big risk playing my strategy the way I did, staying in that middle ground. Now that things are heating up, I need to step it up and start winning. Artists, you have five hours left. Five hours remaining. I decided to go up against Ryan because I've never seen her do anything color realism before. But of course, she convinced her canvas to do black and gray. I do portraits all day, so I'm confident enough to go against anybody in this challenge. So we're the only ones doing color. No one else is. Nobody, she was only one. Judges can say everyone took easy street, black and gray. They're not gonna say that. No. I know the judges hate color portraits. I'm gonna do it anyway. Three hours to go, guys. Everyone in this competition knows that I'm a new school artist, but what I tried to make sure they didn't know is that I'm also an award-winning black and gray portrait artist. God, it's so cute. Ours are definitely done completely different. Definitely. Kevin and Nate want to see me and Nikki go head to head because they're afraid, and this might be their only opportunity to get one over on the girls. Kelly's an amazing artist, and I don't want her to come out on top against me. The pressure is on right now. Yeah, you went for it. Well. Good. If I did something that you guys didn't want and then did badly, I'd just feel like an idiot. <laughs> this is your final hour, one hour left. What do you think? Everybody's going real slow. I mean, Gian basically just started. Well, he redrew a stencil. And how long did that take? Yeah, it's been a while. That's crazy, right? I think Nate's gonna be able to do a portrait, but I don't think it's gonna be as strong. As much of a punch. Yeah, like he can't compete with what Nikki's got going on. Nobody has that black like Nikki yeah. has. That's my, that's my horse. Yeah, yeah I would you, bet on that horse. If you got one person trying to get in the finale for Team Nunez, that's the one. This still feels like neck and neck right now with yeah. as far as teams, yeah. you know? There was a time that Team Nunez seemed to have a little bit of the upper hand. Hey, hey, hey. But not now. I've been proactive with my team, and I think it's paying off. Hey, that's not nice. I'm predicting at least two members of the team pack in the finale. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but who's going to do the guest spot? <laughs> 15 minutes, guys. <laughs> My tattoo is not looking exactly as I had planned. Because that photo is so light, I have to put shading in there that's not necessarily in the photo. I know it's solid, but it may not be as accurate as it could be. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up, machine's down. No more ink. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. You got everything. Yeah. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Good job. Kevin's tattoo looks kind of like an old man with weird striped taffy candy laid on his head like a wig. I can confidently say my portrait is way more accurate than Kevin's. Hey, this is Oliver Peck. Be sure to subscribe to Spike's YouTube for more Ink Master videos. For your first elimination tattoo, you must draw your tattoo using only live reference. <laughs> what the f
Let's bring him in. Oh, Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Holy oh. Holy Holy I'm afraid of snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh, oh my God. Oh. Get the out of here. Are you serious? For this elimination tattoo, we're testing your attention to detail. This week, you must tattoo one of my favorite images, a pinup. Details in pinups are super important because the proportions are so small. It's a very delicate process. Pinup girls date back to World War II. Early pinup girls wore more clothing, but as the decades passed, the clothing became more seductive and provocative. The pinup can be in any style, but here's the twist. The reference material you use for your design are the pictures you'll take during your photo shoot. This is going to be really tough. When you're using a model, you're actually working with the model to get the right expression, to get the right pose. I've done photo shoots before. I've never done a photo shoot with 10 people. It's gonna be a circus. The model for your tattoo has appeared on the pages of some of the most well-known adult magazines. Mm. She performs burlesque. Please welcome Dorenzia. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us. Dorenzia's hot. Dorenzia is your pinup model for this elimination tattoo. You must use the pictures you take during your 30 minute photo shoot as the reference material for your design. If you screw up the pictures, your tattoo doesn't stand a chance. Oh, she looks amazing. All right, pretend you love Clint. You're all about the Mohawk. Why can't we do this in all the challenges? Look here. I need to design something that fits the time frame. I'm terrible with time, so I'm probably gonna be in trouble if I don't keep things simple. Can I get you playing a piano? Kind of like tweaked out as much as possible, bend your back. We have three hours to get prepared. I'm not quite sure that I can have it all ready within that time limit. I'm really worried. My canvas is really not fighting me on moving from the ribs to the calf. I could imagine how this on the ribs would have felt. <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, it's good. Steve tried to f me, but he really threw me a pretty nice toss, so joke's on you, Jack. So far, so good. I am definitely one of the top tattoo artists in the house. I probably can't even count how many Navy pinups I've done. I'm gonna kill it. I think there's gonna be a lot of bed uh, I've walked around, I've seen a couple. K Cutter, I'm gonna help you go home. Four hours left, that's one hour down. I think a lot of the guys would have been scared to try this on the side. It's an intimidating spot for yeah. some people on lower ability levels. My strategy at this point in the game is to try to win. My pinup girl is gonna be solid. All my lines are clean. I'm gonna have by far the most detail. It's going to be epic. I can't miss. It's three hours to go. Halfway through the tattoo, I realized those legs took me too long. Cool legs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> got two hours. Time is, is a problem. My canvas is doing great. He's laying still as a board. I'm working on the fingers right now. He's doing detail. This is the stuff I usually shoot myself in the foot on because I usually go too big. I've been worried about why on the judges with huge tattoos. It hasn't been working out for me. This time, I'm going to do an average size tattoo and make sure I get it done in time. In order to stay in the competition, I need to produce a solid tattoo. One hour remains, everybody. We got like 10 minutes. How long? Time feels like he's dripping away faster than I want to. Six minutes, bro. Thank you. I have to finish. I'm not going to go another unfinished tattoo, but the fact is I'm not going to be able to finish super detailed, super clean, how I like to do my tattoos. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. I know I'm going to end up in the bottom. I'm hoping that Mark does terrible. He will be the one who was going to get eliminated. Ready? Ready. I'm really not happy with my tattoo at all. It looks too dark. The areas that I was trying to get the tight detail in missed the mark. I could very well be going home. Oh, Jesse.
Everything you've done has been extremely detailed. And then here's the detailed challenge. And so we don't have it. That's just weird, dude. What happened? Even back when I used to do pinups, I would never do a pinup this small. It's a trick. You can still show the detail in whatever size the tattoo would be. God damn, this thing looks like it hurts. It is so red and just beat that it looks painful. It looks like you took water and marked out where you were going to shade and then tried to run shading over the top of it. You should be that guy that can do it all. How can't you do these basics? Mark. There's been a few tattoos you've done in this competition where we said it looked like a cover-up. Well, this time, you actually did a cover-up of your own detail. The detail in the jacket, the boots, the hair, the cigarette. Now the tattoo's done, can't see any of it. I broke my thumb right before I came in. I completely underestimated how much it was going to affect me. If you don't feel like being here, throw in the towel. You owe your clients. You owe the person that you're going to put something on forever the respect that you demand for yourself. But if you can't run a clean outline, then Please don't. Steve. You did this Navy pinup. Why did you select him? I'm from a Navy town. He was in the Navy. He wanted black and gray, so it just seemed to fit. I love the fact that you were able to pack so much detail into such a simple design. This is how it's supposed to be done. This is the right way to shade a figure. Use the light and dark. You really are the shiny example for how to do a pinup in this field. Hey, Cutter. But overall, this tattoo's a mess. We gotta talk about the details. There's a lot of shaky lines in here. Her right hand is wonky as hell. Her finger gets bigger at the tip of the finger than it is at the base of the finger. Which finger are we talking about? That big ass weird finger hanging down there. Look at that hand. From here on out, there's no more forgiveness. And these kind of fundamentals are not gonna be able to keep you in this competition. Two of you tattooed a pinup as sexy as the original. And two of you missed the mark. Steve and Jamie, your tattoos were the best of the day. The judges have decided that the tattoo of the day goes to Steve, Mark, and Lalo. Your tattoos left a lot to be desired. Lalo, another tough outing. What's going on? What happened with this pinup today, I can't even like understand how it happened. The only variable here that I think it makes the whole thing different is time. I never miss a phase like that. I'm very methodic with what I do. I came to a competition to compete and there's no excuse for that. Mark. I overthought it again. It's just me overthinking the fight. I'm embarrassed and I fumbled the ball like this in front of you and I feel like I took a nut shot, man. The judges have decided. Lalo, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Welcome, artists. Hope you're not squeamish, or this is gonna be a tough day for you. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ugh, I hate bugs so much. Oh, God. Uh, there are millions of eyeballs. Dude, I don't like bugs. Bottom line, I hate them, they're gross. Congratulations on earning a shop, but this competition is just beginning. The 16 of you will now battle it out for $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. We begin each week with a flash challenge. This week, we are testing dimension. Dimension is making the tattoo look like it's sitting above the skin, making your tattoo have depth. For this flash challenge, you must tattoo a bug. You've been randomly assigned a human canvas and your subject matter. A scorpion or a tarantula. Oh, dude, I hate spiders. But here's the catch. You must shoot your own reference photo. To get the perfect photo, you must get up close and personal with the bug that you're tattooing. You will have to handle it. Uh, I don't like bugs. They bite, they're poisonous. This challenge is a nightmare. The winner of this challenge will assign all human canvases for the elimination tattoo. You have two hours to get your reference photo and complete your tattoo. If it doesn't look like your bug is crawling on your canvas, you're screwed. Your time starts now. Go ahead. I can see you want to bite me. You can go yourself. Today we're looking for these artists to show dimension by using shadowing, light source, and heavy shading. Oh no. We're gonna leave him alone. 
If you're a good artist, it's a great advantage to be able to have your own photo reference. For a struggling artist, it's gonna be the Achilles heel. Ooh, God, I hate this. I'll tattoo a scorpion, a spider, a black widow. Ooh. I don't give a if I have to touch one of them. That's a completely different story. All right, me and you are not gonna be buddies here. I hate this. Doing a good dimension tattoo is all about where you place your shadows. Oh, you're so pretty. It definitely helps to have a great reference photo. Nice leg movement, I don't even have to tell you. If you're not willing to touch it, your reference is gonna suffer because of that. That might be the money shot right there. Is he dead? It is hard as hell to get this little to move around. He's like in the corner, he's scared. The photos are coming up blurry. I am so One of the hardest parts of this challenge is gonna be people taking their own reference. If you can't make it believable that that's on a person's skin, you're gonna fail the dimension challenge. Oh, don't sting me. Don't sting me. Oh, oh my God. Hey, hi. My heart is beating out of my chest. Oh, don't go up. Don't go up, dude. Please don't sting my tattoo hand. I've got a tattoo. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. So I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be doing this, but we're gonna see what it looks like. I have a lot of blurry photos and I'm scared. If I don't think it's gonna look good as a tattoo, I'm not gonna do it on you. The stakes are high with this. I can't up. Thirty minutes to go, everybody. Have you ever done any uh, pugs like this before? Oh, Scorpion, hell yeah. This is my first tattoo. I'm really excited to see how I stack up against the competition. I want to validate America voting me back. It's a bit rudimentary of a design. Could have gone a little bigger, but I was scared to. Last season, I overcomplicated everything. I like the shadows. This season, I'm trying to show that I learned from my mistakes. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up, machine's down. No more ink. I'm worried because mine is potentially the worst. I am freaking out. Maddie, I like the gradation in the shadow itself from the black to the gray to really give it that dimension. I think it was a great job. Thanks. Melissa. The shadows give it a good dimension on which way this thing is going. Halo. You have some really heavy dark, but I think as this thing lightens, it's a good way to capture your dimension with a bit of the texture in the front claws and then how the outside of the scorpion actually looks a little bit beveled. Ashley. This thing's small and cluttered. I had a lot of trouble getting just the right picture. A lot of them were coming out like super dark, so I kind of like freaked out. This competition does exactly this to you, and it takes you out of your element and out of your comfort zone. I think you had some issues. Right, I kind of panicked. Internally, I'm beating myself up enough, and I don't need their Randy. It's a lot of soft, furry little details, but no real structure. This definitely needs a forced outline. King Rock. You put in a pretty clean outline on this. It got a little cluttered on the inside, so now you gotta try to just clean it up. David. Instead of trying to do this crazy photorealistic portrait, you just go in and do the tattoo as a tattoo. You did less and made it more. That's a great choice. Lydia. I would say overall, the dimension in this tattoo, as the spider goes back, you should feel a little more of the depth and the darkness of that, and it would make that softer gray shadow you have underneath it really pop. Sausage. You did hit some nice dimension up in the tail, but it is really dark, and the shadow kind of overpowers the image a little bit. Jim. The trench could have been a little darker, and the shadow could have been a little lighter, so they stood apart from each other. If you would have used more black in the actual body itself, it would have made it more readable. Kyle. Nice to have you tattooing on this competition. The tattoo's too little. If the tattoo was bigger and you had a little more space for the scorpion itself to be readable, that would have added a lot more dimension to that really heavy black cast shadow. It's hard to read what that is. I'm back in hell again. Oh yes, it is a competition. It's pressure, it's high stakes, and maybe I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was going to be. Today, we ask you to show dimension by tattooing a bug that actually looks like it's crawling on your canvas. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Halo. Go, Marty. Overall, it was a great execution, great placement. Thank you guys very much. Congratulations. And for this next tattoo, Chris is calling the shots. Welcome, your live models.
today. I'm looking for you guys to create beautiful geishas. You're gonna be using these models and these models only as your reference. Their kimonos are adorned with things that were royalty for kings. You will have six hours to do it. Wow. And since this is Chris's specialty, if he doesn't like what he sees, he will send you home on the spot. You've each been randomly assigned a canvas. And your time starts now. I'm coming! He the wants Japanese us to stick tradition. pretty much to yeah, Japanese, Japanese traditional, tradition. so it doesn't just cut off at her torso. We'll put like some kind of flower or something. She has really strong facial features, so I think that's going to work in our favor. Can you bend your fingers a little bit? Yeah. Can you just bring your head down just a little bit? Countdown to getting yelled at. I did not meet the American traditional challenge, and through some merciful grace, I am still in this competition. Plenty of time for you? Yeah, I think so. Big open face. Kelly is doing her own thing. Other than the hair do, yeah. there's the only thing that says geisha pressure's on. All these full body little pinups that yeah. I'm seeing. Delusions of grandeur. Four hours left. Four hours remain. Damn. No way. You don't like it? I like it, but it's facing the wrong way. Stencil's on backwards. Mother Placing a face towards the center of a person's body is a humongous rule, and I just broke it. <laughs> Breathe. Keep going. CK, let me see you for a sec. What do you think of that face? I need to redraw it a little bit. Pull that one together. Got you. Three more hours remaining, guys. I don't give up easily. I had a really aggressive cancer. I've had two major surgeries. I obviously had to fight to be here. So failure is not an option. I like it, but it's not really Japanese. It's like all these people, everybody does their one thing. It's all fine and dandy when you're at home. Yeah, this isn't home, that's for sure. Last hour, one hour left. The ability to do a mass execution is liberating for us. If you don't want to listen to your fast pass, get the f out. CK, buddy, this is the end of the line, my friend. I have no clue what Chris had to do. All right, Chris, this will be the last one. Appreciate the opportunity. Hey, Ryan, thanks for coming out, bud, but this is the last one. The twins are pretty much the same tattooer, so I think we only need one. So we just feel like really without you. We do find you. Give her a wipe, Marie. End of the road. I think this is just not the environment for you. I overthought it. I'm feeling all this stress and pressure, and I choked. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Time to critique your work. Let's start with Kelly. You do beautiful tattoos. They're slick, but completely not Japanese. It's not feed me your style. It's feed me the fact that you can do all styles. Gian, you are like down to the wire. I should have probably shown less kimono. The kimono actually is the best part, so showing as much of it as you did was a good thing. You want to make sure that you make educated choices. At this point, you guys are not doing anything that you're asked to do. You have to show that you have the stamina and the chops to get to the end. So do it. For your first elimination tattoo, you must draw your tattoo using only live reference. <laughs> Let's bring them in. Oh Whoa. My God. Oh. 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 Holy Holy I'm afraid of snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Here. Are you serious? A hawk? Really? You better keep that thing on a leash. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, don't be moving. Whoa. whoa. Gators. Seen plenty of them. Don't want to get near them and draw them. You will have six hours to tattoo in any style you choose. And your canvases are completely open. But you must use one of these animals and no other reference. Only using live reference, it's so unpredictable. You can't draw what you see if it's moving constantly. And for this tattoo, you will be tag teaming. 
your shop will create one tattoo on the same canvas. Only one of you can tattoo at a time, and you must switch artists every hour. <laughs> We're doing what? Me and Dave have never tag team on a tattoo. Oh. Dave has his style, and I have my style. Can you hold the head? It's eight times harder to draw animals. Animals do whatever the hell they want to do. Stupid bird turns his head this way, turns his head this way. He's got his head backwards. He's got his head tilted. Stay still, stupid bird. I'm trying to draw you. All right, guys, you have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Let's go, let's go. Drawing is everything in this competition. Today, I'm hoping that somebody can actually draw from life and show me details. Because you're cool, I'm cool. Yeah, I can do that. The hardest part about tattooing when you are a team and you're tagging in and out every hour is who's micromanaging? No, no, just bring it up right there. Who's backseat driving? Who's in control? Go a little bit in, right there. They're going to have to be on the same page to come up with a drawing that they can both execute. Right, Michael, I believe it's in your hands, bro. Let the fun begin. Yeah, you're good like that. Our shop deserves to be master shop because we're considered to be one of the best portrait realism shops in the world. Yeah, and we're just <laughs> awesome people, so. You know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I specialize in photorealism. That includes color and black and gray. Darken it up? No, I know, I'm just trying to bevel that out a little bit. I've been tattooing for 26 years. I specialize in kind of everything because I've been tattooing so long. You're gonna want to buy a pet alligator after this, too. <laughs> we got this. Four hours remaining, guys. Switch artists. All right, here we go. As far as like the lining, go with your instinct, man. My favorite thing in the world to tattoo is birds, so I'm super stoked right now. Most people would know me for bright colors, smooth blends, really super soft black and gray. Can you point me some more of that red violet? Thanks, honey. You're welcome, dear. The cool part about having a teammate. I'm not feeling super confident in this challenge, but I know Jesse's awesome at this. We're like a yin and yang. I'm mostly known for new school. What's unique about my new school is that I have a nice girly touch. Definitely moving a little slower on this rose than I expected. Better to take your time Get right. I mean, you're running out of reference. I don't want you to go past what we've drawn. I'm really aiming to show the judges that we have a better concept over everybody else's. I mean, I don't want to like waste time just like not doing anything. I mean, well, it's better to not do anything than to do what doesn't need to be done. For the most part, I do black and gray, but at the end of the day, I want to do whatever technique works best to tell my client's story. Come on, let me run you this new script real quick. Dave is changing the sketch. Why are you doing that? We had a plan. Let's stick to it. Well, it was never finished, so. People doubt me because I'm a young black female. I don't have that many years of experience. But I'm here to prove everybody wrong. Just let people know, like, hey, we can do the too. Two more hours to go. Switch artists. Crunch time, buddy. Bro, I did not expect to see, like, live animals walking in. No, dude, that was the last thing I expected. <laughs> I've been tattooing 17 years. I am known for the realistic black and gray, high contrast, photorealism style. Think you got it? I do. Mike's my boss. He owns the shop, so there's a lot on the line. I have been tattooing approximately five and a half years. My style is illustrative, bold, bright, colorful. What I'm weak in, he excels in. We're a perfect match. There is no reason we can't win this. Absolutely. You're killing it, brother. Thank Proud you. of you, huh? We're a big family. This is my brother for another mother. Yep. Probably a bit more black right in that area. Just to push it. At the end of the day, I want to show my family that here in the United States, you can make your dreams come true. We're here to win it. This is a good tattoo. This is the best thing out there. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Very, very confident, for sure. That's awesome. Tri-Cities and thicker than blood. Should be worried about going home today. John Bobbieri's tattoo looks like a weird space worm. And Tri-Cities tattoo just looks like just a tube with a head. It's just bad in a different way. Definitely one of a kind. Today, you had to prove the strength of your shop by creating a tattoo using only live reference. Based on your work, one shop will be the first to go home. Let's see how you did. Thicker than blood. 
this to me doesn't look like the snake that came in. For me, it looked like a snake, and everybody else here knows it. Look at the top line of the head. Look how it goes across all the way to the back of the body. See that hard line you put in? So you just took that thing's head, and you just took its body, and you went <laughs> broke it there. So it's already got a snap spine. It's completely anatomically impossible. You're not showing us that you can draw from life. Tri-Cities Tattoo. The big question is, what's going on with this in and out of the skin thing? The snake is sitting on top of sand. Part of it is going in sand, and part of it's going out of sand. To me, it doesn't look like it's going in and out of anything. We drew exactly a boa constriction. That's what the challenge was, to draw from the reference. You're drawing from life. You're putting in the details from life to show that you can draw what you see. This does not convince me of that. The Marked Society. What was your plan of attack here? To figure out how to incorporate both our styles. I normally do a more of a realistic style. And I actually, yeah, I drew all the frame and then the little medallion. This is the farthest from a realistic alligator. What you guys needed is the details in the body. You miss those textures and you miss the length of the snout. One of the two of you got to be able to see that something's off. We try not to step on each other's toes by doing that. For a team to win here, you're going to have to dance on each other's toes. Black Anchor. The drawing itself and the detail you guys were able to capture off of something that was moving, it did prove that you can draw. It doesn't have a flat look. It has a 3D textury look. If I run my finger across it, I can feel it. That's the check mark for the Ink Master box. Thank you. Artistic skin designs. I really love the tattoo. I like the fact that you can still see the entire anatomy of this bird. And the talons, especially, are really strong. A lot of technical application in here that came out really strong. A lot of outline, a lot of color blending. I think it's a great job. Appreciate it. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Artistic Skin Designs. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> The people that are safe went the extra mile in the drawing. I feel like with this one, less is more. Like, Dang, I you're think... not you're not hearing. If you do a life drawing, less is not more. This is a silhouette with some stuff in it. The other two shops, they did a tattoo where there can be no corrections with our tattoo. We can add on to it. At least they we can't... show creativity in our tattoo. And we we're show potential. We're not talking potential. about creativity. We're that means talking that about we the got lack more of detail. To give. Since you guys are chiming in now, let's move along to your tattoo. This tattoo, for me, has a lot of problems. It does not look like the life study, which then tells me that you're challenged in drawing. Also, the quality of tattooing here is not top notch. I'm not saying that the tattoo was perfect because it was not. So you acknowledge We're that powerful. you did a bad tattoo? We That's acknowledge it. that it didn't meet the challenge. It didn't meet the challenge. Thank you. I mean, we got a lot to show here, and we can prove it. Thicker than blood. I don't see the snake that came in here, Mark Society. I don't see the alligator that came in here either. Thicker than blood, the judges have decided do not have what it takes to be master shop. You guys got a lot of heart being here, man. Keep going, learn, and grow from it. Please pack your machines and move out. Our piece was on point. If you see that other the snake, bro, my kid can do something better than that. I'm just disappointed, dude. But we going home because we're more creative than other people. I promised my wife, my kid, bro. Your kid will be proud of you, I can tell you that. Nobody got to see what we really do, bro. We did a killer piece, bro. Yeah. And this is not the last thing you'll see from us. We got each other, brother. I can't. I, I, I just can't. I can't. I can't just do like this straight portrait. Holy <laughs> Dude, that's a complicated stencil. Make sure no information is lost. All I can do is pray. Did you see her stencil, dude? Ooh. Sarah's? This <laughs> not a control, dude. What's up, girl? There's no room of error. There's no margin. Like, I can't this not knock this out of the park. Is crazy. I know, man. I can't drop the ball on this one. What the is this crazy? Did you do that on purpose? Yeah. No 
wonder you're half crazy. <laughs> when Sarah Miller is on point, she does world-class tattoos. But right now, it seems like she's not focused, and that makes me happy. All right, guys, Jesse Smith wants to prove to you that he's not just a one-trick pony. So he challenged you to tattoo a black and gray portrait. You have six hours, and your time starts now. Hey, up here. Shake it off, man, stand normal. Jesse Smith comes back swinging, calls out black and gray portraits. I love it. Wow, it's so surreal now. Doing a portrait, precision is everything. Every single line, every single dot, every single bit of shading has to be perfect. If not, your portraits will look like What's your favorite style of tattoo? This right here. Portraits. I do it all the time. If there was a dictionary definition of a one-trick pony, it would have a picture of Jesse Smith. He might think that he went out and practiced portraits, but he just walked into a viper's den full of people who are killer at portraits. The trickiest part is just like all these little subtle wrinkles and stuff. Looking good. Gonna be pretty rad. I need to crush this today. I need to let everybody know in the house that this wasn't even a competition. This one. Oh. I need a little more contrast. This portrait has the least opportunity to shine because I'm working on dark skin. So the ability to create a massive amount of contrast is very difficult. It's the great thing about this show is it kind of highlights your weaknesses. But one Trick Pony has been the word that has stuck with me ever since I left season two. I came back to shut that down. What is going on? So you got you off the ribs. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't any other place besides the inside calf. My canvas wanted Theodore Roosevelt on his busted ass, old ass ribs. I talked him into getting it on his calf where it belongs. Let me just turn for a second. Oh, oh hear that? Yeah, there you go. Oh. Break it right back into place. <laughs> Clean's been giving me bad picks every single time, but I'm going to win the elimination tattoo even though you gave me a thousand year old skin. I'll tell you who Clean didn't go after, Megan Jean. What are you doing to make this guy help you out so good? Whatever, Clean, you're done. Four hours remaining. How's everyone feeling about Portrait Day? To be honest, there's a lot of portrait people here. I don't do portraits. Because there's no artistic freedom, no artistic liberties. You gotta just do what you see. The last thing I wanna do is see you come downstairs and be like, oh, camera's very decided. <laughs> I'm here to prove myself as an artist, not a human copy machine. I want to get through this tattoo and get to the next challenge so I can start getting on top of this game. You convinced me from the get-go. As soon as I saw your Instagram, I'm like, this dude knows how to do portraits. Clean gives me George Washington. I did not want this, but I specialize in black and gray portraits. Looks great, man. Really smooth. Clean is not a black and gray artist. He's about to get sent home by a new artist. Everybody's really doing good. Christian, Megan, Sausage are killing it. But Sarah's doing that Clinton face so dark. That is a concern. Yeah. The devil is going to be in the details. Today, a yeah. really good tattoo is going on. It's going to be a heartbreaker. I know. Toughest day ever. How's this going? I'm trying to stay here. It's gnarly this season, huh? I can do this. I'm hoping to come back from my lumps. Hopefully I'll be able to knock this out of the park. Portraits are my favorite thing. This is where I need to shine, and I don't really see anybody f***ing it up too badly, except for clean. I thought you didn't do portraits. I don't. I'm winging it. I'm flipping out right now. I don't do portraits. I'm normally pretty talkative, man, but I'm focused as a freight train. I think we might be sending a bell. Guess who? Clean. He's having a hard time. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I picked the hardest one. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. Oh, I love this tattoo. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Check it out. Holy The cheeks on this guy are the same color as his black suit. This poor guy has a California raisin shaped like Bill Clinton tattooed on him for life. And you missed the mark on the O's. The style of font that you chose made it very difficult to get those concentric lines on a finger. It just looked like a crappy oblong donut. Welcome to the Elimination Tattoo. Don't screw it up or you'll be packing your machines for good. 
You'll be judged by Oliver Peck, Chris Nunez, and myself, but we're not your only critics. Once again, viewers at home will have the opportunity to go to inkmaster.spike.com and vote for the tattoo that they think is the best. America's vote will have a massive impact at the live finale. In the elimination tattoo, it's more important than ever to win tattoo of the day because the winner must put one artist up for elimination. This week, we're testing technical precision. If you don't have technical precision, your lines won't be in the right spot, your shading won't be solid, you'll basically just make a mess. And today, you'd better be on your A game because you're tattooing the toughest test of technical precision. A color portrait. This isn't something that's easy. If you can't technically tattoo the shadows and the precise lines, it's not gonna look like the portrait, plain and simple. But that is not all. You must tattoo color portraits of characters who are recognizable to millions of fans all over the world. X-Men. Sweet. Oh. I can't screw this up. Or fans around the world are gonna go, what the hell did you just do? Let's meet your canvases. Maddie, you won the Flash Challenge. You now have the power to assign all human canvases. This is your chance to use your powers. I know who I think's at the top and who I need to knock out. Rogue. Where are you thinking about putting this? On the right side of my ribs. On the ribs? All the other artists are going to be gunning for me now. I say bring it. Beast on the left chest. Cool. I want to do it. Like a tough cover. I do not want to tattoo Beast. It's just a crazy mess of purplish blue hair. Wolverine? Yeah. Thank you. Wolverine. Two Wolverines. Yikes. Scott's been at the top of this competition, and I want to see how I can stack up against the top. Bishop, I want it on my calf. You thinking about doing full body like that? Yeah. You get that body, you're going to lose all the detail in that face. I definitely want Maddie to start headhunting for the biggest threats to him and to me. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Gentle J. Halo. Lydia. That counts. Kyle. I get beast. I've got a lot of f**ks to give up, and Maddie's one of them. Bubba. Roland. Jim. We've got two Wolverines out there. Maddie. Scott. I got the opportunity, and I'm gonna go head to head with Scott Marshall today. Maddie's taking a big gamble. Let's get this over with. Melissa. How did you expect this to be a full body portrait? Can't do it. King Rook. Keith. Sausage. Oh, you got a good one. Remember, artists, the winner of Tattoo of the Day will put one artist up for elimination. And the human canvas jury will vote on the tattoo that they think is the worst, also putting one artist up for elimination. You have the rest of the evening to consult with your human canvases. And tomorrow, you will have six hours to create a color portrait of an X-Men character. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. When you do a color portrait, technical precision is everything. If you don't get the feel of it being that actual person, your tattoo fails. I can bump up some color in here because he's got a real dramatic shadow on there. We're not getting the hands in. No way at all. Oh, no. My last color portrait took me nine and a half hours. I won the last two challenges. Maddie took it this time, so now me and Maddie are going toe to toe. This has now become a showdown with this Wolverine tattoo. The back of the calf is horrible, so yeah, if you can give me that thigh, bro, it's going to give us an you advantage. You got the thigh, brother. Awesome. I have never been so determined to win. Same shot. Where are you doing yours? Bye. Yeah, me too, man. My canvas wants to get Bishop tattooed on him. I prefer this one because uh -huh. it shows more of his suit. He's only giving me the opportunity to make the face the size of my thumb. The more of the body we do, the less detail in the face. But it shows more of like the superhero feel. At least up to the waist, at least. Maybe blow up his face a little, I don't know. A portrait means exactly off the photo. I could really be in trouble. 